Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. What are you doing? What? I need I need you to stop. I'm an intern. I don't know how it works around here. So no no food on set. No food I need on you set. to put it over. Thanks, buddy. Can you stay quiet on set. Everyone quiet on set. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. Uh this is my craft corner. Okay, intern, follow me into my deep spooky basement. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, 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 ooh, who put that stuff there? Anyway, this is my spooky basement. Everything in here is uh, handmade. Almost everything is fake. What are you doing? I don't like the intern shirt. You can give this to somebody, but I'm not wearing that. You're supposed to be the intern! I love this room, honey. <laughs> So today, I'm gonna be making the intern into a devil. I got these fake horns, go right on uh, there. Wait, that's not Whoa! right, that's not where they Boom. So I've never actually used this before, but we're gonna use something called Prosade. This is what the pro video effects makeup artists use, and this stuff is really good, apparently. They put the pro in Prosade. I'm a professional movie VFX person now. That's my job. It's really dark in here. How do you Yo. feel about purple? Great. So you got whatever it is you're gonna. Oh put yeah, on your I can just wear this chef's hat and keep my hair not. Like sticky. shove it on. That's so funny. I have a chef's hat just like that. We're gonna make ratatouille after this. Oh boy, this is a big one. I might need to cut it a little bit. We'll send it. As long as it's not glued to my hair, I don't care. It is very messy. I'm Think sorry. We gotta put hold it on tighter. Yeah, we need to hold it on tighter, and I need scissors. Yes, you do. Hmm. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not a professional. Ye got it. We got it. We're good. You're looking good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Is is this a permanent transformation? Yeah, you're just a devil man now. I could live with this. Could you imagine if I just shaved the front half of my head to get this off? <laughs> Bobby! You glued it! You've been pranked! I have a bald cap right here. Wow! Okay, why am I wearing a chef's hat then if we had a bald cap? I didn't even think of it. Are you you're really? You're about to be bald, Jordan. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna carefully. Are you okay? No, because you'll cut my hair. Wait. How's this gonna work? We'll figure it out. It's dripping all over me. You sure you're supposed to be gluing my eyes shut? I don't think that's how it works. No! Okay. Okay. Okay, what? It's looking okay. Yeah, I can't see because you glued my eyes shut, bro. <laughs> what? You put glue on my eyes. Oh my gosh. Let me clean you yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. that one. There. Oh, thank you. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, we'll just put a green wig over you. <laughs> it's okay. We'll adapt. <laughs> just one eye is gone. I know. Okay, guys, next we're gonna break out this color palette. Wait, you're not putting the mask on? What mask? Oh, you're putting another mask on me. Oh, sh**. I was gonna do that, I forgot. You forgot the rest of the face. Whoa. Bro, look at that. Ooh, that blends really nicely together, actually. Yeah, it does. Dude, that's looking pretty crazy. Okay, now we're gonna go in with some of this zombie skin. Ooh. Oh, I forgot. I usually have people wear an apron. Here, I'll put it on you. I should have kept the intern shirt on for this. You're looking good, Hair Jordan. Yeah, dude. We should go out in public after this. Dude, I'm so down to go out in public after this. So now I'm gonna paint your face green. I got an apron on, but I'm still scary. Don't let the apron fool you. I was gonna use zombie skin. I completely forgot. What the heck is zombie skin, I have dude? no idea. I got a little ahead of myself, but I really wanted to fill in all these little cracks. I think this is what you're supposed to use the zombie skin for. I don't really know. I'm not a professional. It does blend very nicely, though. Yeah? It's like chunky latex. Ah. And now we just have to wait like an hour for it to dry. One hour later. I'm gonna go and open his mouth up and paint it red. This is just regular cream makeup from Spirit Halloween. Got a little bit. Boop -a -boop. Oh, that's a lot. So now, with the same palette, we're just gonna go in, start painting your face green. All right, dude. Okay, now that he's completely green, I'm gonna paint his teeth. You can't, you have to move even less. Okay. This is gonna be a process. <laughs> okay, the teeth are done. So now I found this beautiful gray. So beautiful. And I'm gonna paint Chris's horns this gray. Looks good. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, some more details in your teeth. Just kind of make them look more teeth-like. Okay, and now his teeth are done. Dude, these look absolutely fantastic. And now I'm gonna go back to his horns and add just a little bit of silver in places to kind of like make it pop out, texturize a little bit, you know?
Okay, intern, you're looking absolutely fantastic. We put a black cloak on him to really embrace the darkness. You're looking fantastic, and you really look like a green devil man. Thanks. Yeah, I feel like uh, you're never gonna let me out of this basement now. <laughs> <laughs> This is where I belong now. So one final little detail. I gotta fix your eyeshadow, add a little bit of black around your eyes. Okay guys, and this is how it turned out. If I saw you in public, I would be terrified. I'm getting very hungry. What are you gonna feed me down here in this basement? Uh, corpses? I got plenty of corpses. Oh wait, this is all bones. Okay, how about you do my makeup really quick and we'll go out and we'll feast together. <laughs> Let's do it. One of us. One of us. Look at that. We're gonna be devil brothers. We are. You remember how I put yours on? Yes. Now you gotta do Slobbly. the exact same thing. You better do a good job or I'm gonna be really angry. Oh! Since you're not gonna wear your shirt, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this inside out and I'm gonna wear it myself because I don't actually own any all black clothing. <laughs> there we go. So I gave Hair Jordan all my hair ties, so I'm just gonna use the chef's hat as well to keep the hair all out of my face. And plus, I can cook some ratatouille after this. It'll be a great time. I'm gonna get our mask. We're gonna bring this guy to life. I'm gonna be so good at this. I've just been doing nonstop crafts, but I'm ready for another cooking video while being devils. It's honestly gonna be great. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for another devil cooking video. I've never used any of this stuff before. I haven't either. This is my first time wow, too, buddy. Wow, dude. I know. You're doing great. So now, Hair Jordan is gonna use a little bit of this uh, zombie skin. We still don't know if we're actually using it correctly, but we're using it. Great for devils, just like us. And now it's all pretty much done. All you gotta do is paint my face blue. Oh, our horns keep touching. Whoa. One of us. One of us. Whoa. You did a great job here, Jordan. Are you ready to have some fun? <laughs> Nothing. We're just we're just hanging out. I'm gonna go back to bed then. Before you go, I need you to give me a kiss. <laughs> okay, let's go to Sonic. What what the devil? What the devil? What the devil? Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Drive my car, dude. Went to Sonic, dude, because I'm hungry at 3 in the morning, dude. Very hungry, dude. Hell yeah, dude. I just meet on the menu, so we gotta do the special menu. Oh, that looks good, dude. I'll cut it for you. Can I get the strawberry cheesecake milkshake? Okay, what else? Could I get also a strawberry milkshake? And will you put two burger patties in there for me? The patties in your milkshake? Yeah. So you want me to pay it in the strawberry shake and blend it? Yes, 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 absolutely. Two of them. All right, I got you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Is that really doing it, dude? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm so nervous, dude. I'm nervous. You might have forgot my meat pad. Yeah. Is this the pad? Oh, oh yeah. 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 Thank you. Can we get some straws? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's check this out. Milkshake acquired, dude. He did. He did it. He put two burger patties in my shake. Let me know how that tasted. Ooh. Ooh. This actually looks That's good. your cheesecake. Are they raw, dude? Oh, I hope so. I think it tastes fine. Can I try it, dude? Yeah. A strawberry milkshake, but just extra greasy. Really? Yeah. What do you think, dude? Great source of protein, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I just got a giant burger chunk through the straw, dude. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> this tastes weird. Let's go to Sin City, dude. Let's go! Hell yeah, dude! Oh, dude, check it out! It's White Castle, dude! Let's go to White Castle, dude! Can I take a picture of it? Yeah! Sorry, I got tears on my face. Let's dude. capture the tears. <laughs>
<laughs> this is video. We couldn't go in, dude, because they couldn't check our IDs, dude. We'll find another way, dude. It's peeing, dude. Oh, Air Jordan. Air Jordan. Dude. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, you look so scared, dude. Oh, oh I missed you. What are you doing in there, dude? You know, take care of my business. Sin City, dude. Las Vegas, dude. I have no idea what we're doing here, man. I think I'm too sober to really dance with all these people. It this is so dude. embarrassing, yeah. dude. Hey! Can you come closer? Oh, yeah. One of my kids. Can we no. ask you some questions? Okay. He didn't want to answer any questions. That's okay. Right. Two hours later. Oh, oh, oh my god, dude. That was a crazy night, dude. I love you, dude. Oh, man. Oh, I think you lost the shoe, dude. Oh! I, <laughs> I lost oh, the this... shoe, dude! Dude! Oh! Oh! Dude, I got something to tell you, though. Uh, I had to quit. I quit. I quit, dude. Why am I? I quit this job, dude. Oh. Okay. It's just not for me, dude. Oh. Well, I, I love fun hanging with you, dude. Yeah. We have great times. Me too, dude. <laughs> It's been good, dude. I'm gonna miss you, dude. It's so good. I'm gonna miss you, dude. Too good. <laughs> Why do I have to quit? You did a great job, dude. I'll see you later, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here, dude. Get some sleep, dude. I'll never, I'll never forget you, dude. I'll never forget you either, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't do the intro, dude. I can't do it. Goodbye, dude. Hey, guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And it's been a little bit over a week since intern number two quit. I have no idea why he quit. He just told me it was time to go. So he just left. And we were having so much fun. I genuinely thought that he would like the Halloween makeup. The channel's not doing very good anymore. I have no more interns. And, you know, everything's just falling apart. So I decided to start my own moving company. But starting a moving company and just moving everything by yourself sounds absolutely horrible. And that's why I came to the intern's house to ask if he'll take his old job back. Well, not exactly his old job. I mean, uh, in the moving company, I mean. Intern number two! How you doing, buddy? What are you doing here? Can you come out for a moment? I want to talk to you about uh, something. I'm really sorry for the whole intern games thing and, um... I was wondering if you want your old job back. Not really. Well, what if I say please? Can I actually get paid this time? Yeah, I'll... Yeah. You pay me? I'll pay you. Okay. I'll take my old job back. Well, it's not exactly your old job. Uh, we're actually a moving company now. I got you your own jumpsuit, uh, so you don't get your clothes all sweaty. You're welcome. All you gotta do is help me drive this U-Haul across the country. I didn't sign up for this. I'm not gonna wear the jumpsuit, but I'll help you drive the U-Haul across the country. Really? That's fantastic! Yeah, no, there's a global heat wave, dude. Oh, that's fair. Okay, well, I'm not gonna wear mine either. Uh, come on, let's go. It's getting dark. U-Haul! Okay, let's get the show on the road, intern. <laughs> And off we are. Goodbye, Jordan Bransky. I'll see you later. Whee! Hey, intern, guess who's tagging along? Who? Oh, how's it going, Oh, dude, do not. I won't throw him out the window. I can't wait to spend the entire trip with you. Shut up. The entire trip. Oh, what are we listening to? Taylor Swift, turn that shit up. I'm trying to drive. Da -da 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 Hey bro, I'm gonna get one of these pink donuts. You want one? Sure. Okay, cool. I'm gonna get you one. Okay. Oh, hey there, intern. Uh, don't mind me. I just need to go to the bathroom really quick. Uh... <gasps> okay, guys. So the intern thinks that he's gonna get one of these delicious donuts, but I brought my little bag of tricks with. And he thinks he's gonna get this real donut, but he's actually gonna get this fake donut. Honestly, the fake donut looks more tasty than the real donut. I'm pretty sure this one's gonna work. It's two in the morning and he's really tired. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this right inside the bag and I'm gonna have my donut at the ready. Oh man, hey intern, how's it going buddy? It's good, I'm about to go to bed. You ready to go to bed? Do you want your donut before you go to bed? Here you go, yeah, there's your donut, man. I do it's want my donut. Still in the package, take it out, cheers. To an awesome day of moving. Great first day of moving. We did it. We did it. Great first day. 
How is it? I think it's stale. What the? <laughs> You've been pranked. That's not a real donut. It's That's a squishy donut. donut. This was the real donut the entire time. It actually feels like a real donut. <laughs> well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. This is my real donut. Man. Bro, I'm in for real right now? I'm in for real right now? No, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm in. <laughs> Welcome to Sweet Home Alabama! Woo! Sweet Home Alabama! Where the uh, sky is always green! This is not Sweet Home Alabama. Why is the sky not green? Is that how it goes? I don't even think that's correct. The sky's blue. But it's, it's blue. I'm so confused. Hey, how's it going, little guy? It's going good. Just grab my pants to sleep. I have something for you. What? We have to do it again. No. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This is a waste of shaving cream. The waste, waste of my time. time. that flower intern you're doing a great job oh, it's just landing in the wind so pretty you're so pretty it's nice to concentrate right now so it's a perfect opportunity just really enjoying the nature the nice silence bro seriously <laughs> I got you no you did it pop pop what do you mean Ugh. Ugh. You've been pranked? That one was such a fail, it didn't want to come out. It just smells bad. <laughs> okay guys, we're on Route 66. We just stopped for gas. There's a little Circle K over here. I have this fake lotto ticket. I'm gonna go and tell the intern that I bought him a lotto ticket and I'm having really good luck today and I feel like you might win something. Anyway, let's go see how this turns out. Intern, intern, oh my God. What's up? I got you these lotto tickets. Why? Let's just say, I'm really feeling our luck today and I think we're really in for a big, okay? So, try this lotto ticket and- I'm uh, down. Yeah? I actually got two yeah. of them, so one for you, one for me. I give it a good luck kiss. Ooh! Right. Always gotta give it that good luck kiss. Gotta figure out my king numbers. We got Ooh. four, Ooh. 36, Ooh. Okay. 28, 15, and two. All okay. Right, numbers. So we just gotta get, we gotta get the crowns to match. A few moments later. Okay, we had to move because there's someone behind us at the gas station. Yeah. So suspenseful, dude. I think that was very scary. Okay, I just want to finish this, dude. Things are looking good. I'll tell you that much, Robbie. Yeah. Just scratch them all off. Yeah, I just gotta do it all, and then I'm gonna count it up at the, in the end. Ooh, wait, wait. When any of your numbers match any king's numbers, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, what? Dude, I, I won hundred thousand dollars. What? You won hundred grand? Okay, that's mine. It's mine. I'm taking it. And you didn't even scratch all of them off. No, I'm not finished. There might be more. Wait, what? Bro, I won the I bought the ticket. Million. Half of it's mine. No, it's not. I don't have to work for you anymore. No, come back. No, it's no, mine. Bro. Hey, I'm going intern. Home, bro. Hey, no, no come back. Bro. Intern. I'll get an Uber. I'll get an Uber. No. I'm rich now. What? I'm rich. Intern. Oh, I gotta tell him. Intern, no, stop. Wait, intern, intern. No, stop. No, no, no. You've been pranked. It was a prank lotto ticket. It wasn't a real ticket. All of them have winners. So you're telling me I still need you? Yeah, nice try, buddy. Come on, let's go. Get back in the U-Haul. Go, come on. Get back in there. We decided to stop at this abandoned gas station. The intern's vlogging again. There's a giant arrow here, and it's the perfect opportunity for a prank. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, just enjoying this uh, this giant arrow. I am, yeah, no, this is really cool, dude. Holy moly. Hey, let's go check out these buildings. Hey man, you wanna go in these abandoned buildings? Let's go in these abandoned buildings. Now's my time. You know what? 
they call people like us? Urban explorers. Whoa! We're explorers! Yeah, no, that's actually what it's called when you go and explore like, wow. like a bin stuff. I don't know why we didn't just stay here. This yeah. feels very cozy, very at home. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, oh, a cop oh my god! Oh, 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 were you just smack me? You just smack me? What are you doing? You been pranked! Where did my fake cockroach go? It fell on the crack. Oh, Ooh, yummy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Here, try it. It's I yummy. Oh, you, it was in your mouth. I'm not mm. in mine. It's, it's, it's actually gross. Oh my god, guys. Look at all these real bugs. Ugh. I could totally get the intern. I mean, they kind of look. Oh, intern! Did you actually pee in the bathroom? I did. I went pee in the bathroom. It was very bad. Come on, I have something to show you. <laughs> Dude, if that one cockroach scared you, come here. Look at all these cockroaches in here, man. Oh my god! Look at this big oh, one! Look at this big one! Oh. How you doing, intern? You glad to be out stretching your legs? I know we only drove about an hour. That's what we do sometimes. Anyway, come on, let's go. Let's go to Guillermo. Going down to Guillermo, gonna get ourselves a treat. Oh, here's one. Intern, come here, check it out. Another snack. I'm unfazed. He's getting used to it. I need to find another prank. We got food. This is like the first meal we're basically eating today. Okay, go this is like a late lunch, a very late lunch. Uh, I opened it, guys, and what's this doing here? You're too accustomed to this roach now. Okay guys, we made it to our hotel. It feels a little sketchy. They have garage lights above our beds. The intern and me got here pretty late, so he's eating some microwavable chicken noodle soup. Yummy. Dude, what the f <laughs> <laughs> this hotel really gives me cocky. You get me. Stop, stop, stop. Put it in there with it. It's good luck. No, it's not, dude. That's electric. It's gonna break. <laughs> Yo, for real? Yeah. Thank you so much, dude. No I freaking love Pokemon. Yeah, I know you really like Pokemon. You do all these unboxings. Oh my god! Oh my god. There's a rope, dude. There's a rope. It's a prank. You've been pranked. Stop. Hey, stop. Wait, where are you going? Intern, wait. Stop. Where are you going? I'm leaving. Robbie, find your own way home. Intern, no way. Sorry. Intern, I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. Dang, there's no electric locks in here. Dang it. Wait, we have to turn back. Wait, why? I forgot my roach. No, I'm not turning around, bro. <laughs> Oh, okay guys, so we're at Bass Pro Shop, Memphis, Tennessee. I've wanted to come here many times, and I've passed by it so many times, but I've never been able to, and this is the first time I've actually gotten to go. I've wanted to go here for like 10 years. It's gonna be great. Hey, don't mess this up for me in turn. He just kicked out. Intern, you wanna buy a duck? Yeah. Take it home with us. I don't know if you can buy a duck at Bass Pro Shop. Uh, wait, but it's here. These are just buildings inside of another building. Oh, inception, dude! Whoa! Ducks, 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 ducks. In turn, this is what they did with the ducks that died downstairs. No. That way they're here forever. No. No. Hey intern, do you wanna use this boat? It's in a very convenient spot above the stairs. That honestly sounds pretty awesome. We can just slide down the stairs in the boat. I like it. Let's do it. We're gonna get kicked out of Bass Pro Shop TVH. Guys, I haven't pranked the intern today, so I think it's about time. Oh yes. This one's for grilling meats. Dude, they have meat. What's up? Bro, you put this on my head? No, I didn't. You literally standing there with a cat. <laughs> dude, dude. Who did that? No, I was, I don't know. Dude, you have a backpack on your head too. I know, someone's just going around throwing things on people's heads. I don't know what's going on. Oh wow, intern. Oh my gosh, look at this building inside of a building. Stop, man! <laughs> 69. 
Why did you do that? It wasn't me. You were literally it, standing there with a the camera. It was that guy over there. It was that guy over there. It was me. Hey, 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 no, intern, no, wait, stop. Oh no. Okay, guys, so the intern is sleeping behind me right now. He sleeps so good here. He just sleeps like a log in these hotels. There's just something about the ambiance. I don't really know. He told me about it. Anyway, let's tape him to the bed. Here we go. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Pretty solid tape job, if I say so myself. Okay, guys, I'm a piece to resistance. That's perfect. Okay, guys, I'm gonna blow my whistle. Wake up, intern! It's time to get up! Uh, what's going on? I covered you in duct tape, intern! I got you! Dude! And you were face masked so you couldn't see what happened. Bro, this is not the way to wake up! <laughs> You've been trapped. Dude! Do you want me to take it all off? I'm trying! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 here you go. <laughs> Okay, I shouldn't have used Gorilla Tape, I'm sorry. <laughs> Get this off me. Get this off me. You want me to, okay, I'll, I'll try it, okay? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that one really hurt, dude. No, no, this went too far. I'm it gonna be honest here, I quit the moving company. What? You can't move. You can't quit the moving nah, company. I'm gonna buy my plane ticket, I'm going home. What are we gonna do, just leave everything there? What do you mean we? I'm leaving. You could finish the moving company. You could do your own company. I'm leaving. Well, if you quit, then I quit. Okay, I'm still gonna book my flight. I'm gonna go book my flight. <laughs> See you later. Okay, guys, I just got to the airport. I'm going home. Intern? Robbie? What the heck? Well, I guess there's only one airport. Okay, guys, I decided to get some lunch before I hop on the plane. Wait, what the? Are you joking? I have to sit next to you the entire plane trip? Can I have the window seat at least? No! <laughs> okay, I have to make it back to the car cutter without falling down the stairs. Oh. Oh my God. Look who I brought! I really don't like him. He's your friend, that's all. Oh, Cory the Blansky! Corner basement. This is where I do all my spooky things. And recently, I took a little trip to one of your guys's favorite places. A little place called Spirit Halloween. <laughs> and from Spirit Halloween, I got a whole new set of masks that I'm gonna repaint for you guys. Anyway, let's get there. Okay, guys, so up next we have the Wicked Scarecrow. Just gonna take that off, don't need that anymore. This is already pretty spooky, but there's definitely a little bit of room for improvement. The first thing I need to do is make sure that he doesn't you know, go flat like this. So I actually bought this uh, head from Spirit Halloween. Gentlemen. He's a two-faced guy. I'm just gonna go ahead and shove him right inside the mask. Let's see if I can do this without damaging it. It's like a glove! So the first thing I think I'm gonna do is take some of this hay off. Just be real careful and remove this. It almost looks like they just kind of threaded it through little holes, which, you know, it works. Like, this completely works. I'll take note for how to put it back on. So now that we got most of the hay removed, and this guy keeps falling over, and that's something that we really don't want, so we actually made a little stand for him, and now he just stays perfectly face up. These teeth already look really good, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how I'm gonna outdo these teeth, maybe by adding real teeth? Haha! -ha! I guess the only thing I can really do is replace these teeth with these teeth, maybe make this look more realistic. As you can tell, this looks a lot more real than this, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and add burlap all over his face. 
this. Oh, and also, this is supposed to be real skin, so let's add some latex to that to maybe help that out a little bit. I do know that I'm just adding latex to latex, but you know, this is just gonna make it more latexy. I'm just making this up as I go along, okay? Just go ahead and get it all up in his mouth. Does that taste good, huh? I really don't wanna get it on his teeth, so I'm just gonna take another brush and just kinda brush it off. I swear, I spend most of the time making this video just waiting for latex to dry. And my hypothesis was correct. It looks exactly the same as when we started. Okay, maybe that wasn't such a great idea. I literally just put latex on latex. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the burlap all over his face. We don't need this fake burlap because we got real burlap right here. Let's go ahead and cut it right there. So now we're gonna do our dang best to cut out his mouth hole. And then also his eyes. Yeah, that's already looking pretty nightmare fuel if you ask me. So now I need a good solid rope to tie up his head. I also don't really like how it's all nice right here. We gotta fix that. So we're just gonna cut all that off. We want this to look nice and ragged, you know? It can't look too nice. Before I get too far with this, I'm actually gonna take some of this spray adhesive and spray it all over his face. Well, you know, not on this section, just where I'm putting the burlap. And then we are going to align it with his eyes and his mouth. Oh no. There we go. I'm gonna double it up in some cases. Like in this spot and then fold it over all over the back. Then I'm gonna cut some of the extra stuff off. I'm gonna use a cat to stick it on there because I don't want to get this stuff on my hands. Just keep trimming, just keep trimming. As they say, this is a face that truly only a mother could love. I'm gonna go ahead and use this twine to sort of tie together his top, getting the adhesive all over me. You can kind of see where the other stuff just peeks out a little bit, so I'm actually going to go in and add some of the trimmings in there. You're never gonna notice that, see? What, it's not all one piece? I had no idea. And we're gonna do the same thing with the bottom part. I forgot that this head is in there. Oh man, I hope I'm able to get this out still. <laughs> I don't really need you anymore. Wow, that is extra creepy. So I messed that up a little bit, but that's fine. I would definitely not want to run into this guy. Very spooky, which is exactly what we're going for. I go ahead and tie that off right in the back. There we go, looking good. The top of his head got a little bit messed up, but you know, I can fix that, see? Just tie it around one more time. Okay, I actually went back and I added more burlap. Now he has a ponytail, I love it. But we're gonna kind of break this apart a little bit. Actually, I'm kind of digging that. You see, he has a little hat, but even better if we break it up even more. There we go. Yeah, make it stringy. That looks extra scary. Now he has like a spooky ponytail, you see? I like it. The latex was not for nothing because now it looks like he has a mouth full of goop. The latex accidentally touched itself and now it's just sticking and it looks super gross. Let's see if I can reenact it with the other side. Oh, I did, there we go. So now he's just extra full of gross. Now this guy's looking pretty dang spooky so far. I definitely think he's an improvement over the original, but we're gonna make him even more spooky by adding some fake blood, a little bit of everywhere. Look at that. Oh, that is some spooky shit right there. And this is gonna dry all gross and crusty. Perfect. Let's do the other eye. Oh, that's so creepy. Now let's do the mouth. Wow, this is looking absolutely horrid, but I think we should add some blood kind of like all around it too. Just like, you know, some hints of blood, a little bit of everywhere. So this is already a crazy improvement, but I think we can make this look even more weathered by bringing in my airbrush and spray painting it different colors. Let's see what we can do here. Something is starting off with some of this black. A boobity boo. I haven't used this airbrush since last year, so I'm gonna start on the back to, <laughs> that way in case I mess up. Oh, that's exactly what we want. Perfect. This looks disgusting. Whoa. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try and use a little bit of this brown. Just go ahead and mix it up in the pen. I'm sure this isn't the proper way to do this. I'm gonna go back and add even more blood. Oh, that doesn't help at all.
He's looking pretty freaking spooky now. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with this guy. I'm gonna let him dry for a little bit, and then we'll try this bad boy on. He turned out so good. Look how creepy that is. I really didn't want to mess with the teeth much. Honestly, the latex was a good call because now he has all this, like, gum stuff in his teeth. Do you see what? Let me just, just when you... Hello, how is it going? Guys, should this be the new Toby? Let me know down in the comments down below. <laughs> how is it going, everybody? It's great to be here. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy on. Oh, no. Guys, it doesn't fit. It no longer fits on my head. <laughs> This is how it's gonna be from now on. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't think I can put my head through the twine. Maybe if I untie it. This is just gonna be one of those masks. You don't really wear a lot because you have to tie it onto your face. Come on, just get it on there. I'm definitely gonna have to put this back on when I'm done. There we go. I cannot see anything in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my best to tie it on. <laughs> Well, that's definitely nightmare fuel. Where's the iPad? One second. There we go. <laughs> I can't see anything. I hope this looks good. Okay, let's go and show some people. What do you think Ben's gonna like it? Oh. Ah. I hope I didn't scare him too bad. Not see a thing. It's scary walking around in this. Oh, Tori Nebraska! Oh, gosh. This is so scary. <laughs> I fell down the stairs because I can't see. Oh, hello. What do you think, Kitty? Do you like it? Holy <laughs> I don't think she likes it. What are you doing? I came in here to show you my mask. But I can't see very well. It's a lot scarier than the last one. Tori, I haven't seen your face in so long. I don't think you can see my face right now. Let me feel your face. No. Is it pretty scary? Yeah, it's really scary. Especially like the eyeballs. Did I do a good job on this? You did a very good job. <laughs> Where's your hat? <laughs> Robbie. I can't make it back to the craft corner in this. Oh, I believe in you. Can you walk me up the stairs? I'll stop right there, yes. There's one more. Okay. Flat. Go up the stairs. Yeah, you're doing great. Thank Good. you. No problem. Love you too. I love you. Love you. Be okay, I'll be back. Oh, hey, boy. How's it going? Oh, my God. It's actually pretty scary. Don't look at me. You actually look horrifying. I can't see anything in here. Can one of you guys walk me downstairs or help me take this off? Are you being for real? Yeah, I can't actually see anything. Oh, I don't like it. As long as you don't look at me. Just don't look at me and I'll help you. I can't even look at you. No, you look sense. terrifying. Why do I want you to look at me? Don't look at me. I, I will throw you down the stairs. You're not going to help me? No, you keep looking at me. What the heck? Okay, I'll turn the mask a little bit. Guys, it's, it's tied on. Okay, I have to make it back to the craft corner without falling down the stairs. Really careful. Oh! oh my god! Guys, you've been pranked. It was a dummy the entire time. Look at this. Dummy Robbie. <laughs> back at it again. Dynamic duo. Thanks so much for throwing me, Trev. Hey, no problem. Now let's do a little prank on Tori Dabransky. <laughs> Tori Dabransky. I want to show you something. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> You've been pranked. It looks very broken, Robbie. I know you always said you wanted to, Robbie. So here you go. It's fine. Well, just keep me company whenever you're filming. Can you give us some like privacy? Tori Bransky, like, what? I'm gonna spend some time with my new boyfriend. Tori Bransky took my dummy. What the heck? You're taking the dummy. I'm taking the cat. No. She's coming with me. She's my kitty now. <laughs> She's my kitty. Okay, guys, so we have this it mask. It looks pretty good already, but there's definitely some room for improvement, especially with maybe the teeth and the hair. The hair looks cool, but we can make it even more realistic. I think I'm gonna start off by covering everything in latex to give it more of like a skin look instead of this plastic, you know? So here we go. Go ahead and grab our latex. Oh, yes. I'm just gonna go ahead and cover this. I'm even doing his mouth right here. I'm probably gonna end up modifying his mouth a little later. Stay tuned for that. It's gonna be exciting. Now that the latex is nice and dry and he has brand new face, brand new skin, yeah, that definitely adds a layer of realism to this. We're gonna go ahead and start painting all this makeup back on. I'm gonna start off with some acrylic uh, matte white paint. Boop, boop, boop. I'm just gonna start painting this right onto his face. Wow. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this off to the side for a little bit and let it dry. And while that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and start making the teeth out of these acrylic nails. I think that he should have really sharp teeth. Traditionally, he doesn't, but you know, 
we're making him extra spooky, okay? I'm just gonna carefully cut all these guys down just like that. There you go. That's one tooth down. I shouldn't need too many. I might wait to cut all of them just because I don't know the exact size that I need them to be in order to fit into his mouth. Or technically her mouth. It is technically a female spider from space. I hate to ruin the ending for you, but it is technically a girl. Oh yes, there we go. So now that he is completely whited out, we even got the tiniest amount of cracking. I'm gonna have to figure out how to make that crack even more, but we're gonna start working on the teeth. I think I'm gonna carefully, just gonna individually glue each tooth on just like that. There you go. Now that I completely regret my decisions, I'm gonna go in and actually paint the background of the mouth, the inside black. I should have done this first before I put all the teeth in, but I'm not that smart of a guy. I should have done that in retrospect. So I'm gonna do my best and paint around his mouth and paint around his teeth. Try and wipe some of that black paint off. Yeah, there you go, good enough. I decided that I'm just gonna pull all the teeth out because they're just getting in my way right now. Don't worry, I will put them back. Oh no, Ugh, rip. Okay, so I ended up pulling out all the teeth uh, because I just wasn't really happy with how it was turning out. And then I went to our good old friend Spirit Halloween and I managed to find these. These are just some fake teeth. I thought these would fit pretty good. Definitely be kind of like what we're going for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, hot glue these in. Actually, maybe I should trim this a little bit. Now that I'm really looking at it, I don't think his gum line should go all the way up there. I mean, maybe he has gingivitis. You never know. Yeah, I messed up. I messed up. There we go. That's a bit better. Now I have to hold it until it dries. So while I wait for the hot glue to fully cure, I actually decided that I'm gonna take some of these eyeballs that I got from Spirit Halloween and put them inside of the mask. Honestly, look how much creepier that looks. I mean, I won't be able to see out of the mask anymore, but come on, that's awesome. And I think I'm actually gonna make the eye holes just a little bit bigger using this Dremel tool. So here we go. Let's see, how's that? Oh, that's fitting a lot better. Just carefully glue it into the eye holes. Stick all that down. That's pretty freaking creepy. Stick in the other one. Oh yes, now that is truly nightmare fuel if you ask me. So he's looking pretty similar to the movie, but now I have to try and repaint his makeup on. I'm gonna use a pencil to sort of draw the outline of where it's gonna go. And then afterwards, I'm gonna paint it all in. And now I think I'm gonna work on his teeth. Just go in and give him some nice pearly whites. Look, I'm not a dentist, but I think that he deserves it. This is definitely not working as well as I thought it would. Yeah, this really isn't working out. It was worth a shot, but I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off. It just wasn't meant to be. It did give it a little bit more depth though. So I think the very last thing that I really need to do is add some hair. I mean, the hair that he has is okay, but it would look a lot better if it was real hair in my opinion. Yeah, that's a nice piece of hair right there. If I do say so myself. I might have to do this in a couple sections, but I think I have the basic idea. I can smell plastic burning. Seriously, it smells like it's burning, but I guess that's just what happens when you have a hot glue gun on plastic hair, you know? This is all nightmare fuel. Got it all over his luscious hair. Hot! It's not a Robbie video unless I burn myself. Poke it down with the paintbrush. Not gonna lie, he's looking pretty spooky. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of patchwork on the top of his head over here, but it's fine. Pennywise does not mind being a little bit bald, I'm sure. There we go, stick that on. Ha ha, not bad. So now I'm gonna try using this hairspray and a brush to kind of help hold all of his hair back. You're gonna be the most handsome clown at the party, Pennywise. I can guarantee it. Just get all your hair back there. You're gonna look great. And now I'm just gonna let it all sort of dry back like that. And I'm really hoping that it kind of just stays in place. One hour later. 
So this one definitely turned out pretty good in my opinion. The only thing I regret is not getting better hair for him because you can kind of see part of the, the wig, but honestly not a big deal. People are never gonna notice, except for you guys because I just told you. This probably isn't a mask I'd wear, mostly because there are no eye holes. I covered up his eye holes, so that's probably a problem. But dude, I really got him spot on with the teeth. Okay, I'll put it on just for fun, okay? I'll do it for you guys. You ready? Okay. Yeah, I don't even know if this is on straight. Oh, I found an eye hole. It's right here. Oh, it's on the very side of it. I still can't see very well at all, but it's fine. It looks fantastic. You ready? So now I'm gonna try and do the Pennywise dance. How'd that look? Did that look insane? Do I look insane to you? If I did, I'm doing my job correctly. You're welcome. Well, we showed everyone else the masks. We might as well show them this one too. <laughs> This is gonna be fun. Hello, Tori Dabransky. I'm here to show you another fun and exciting thing. What do you have to show me? You ready for it? Yes, maybe. I don't know. Actually, no, I'm not ready. Oh. <laughs> what do you think? Like this. Is, is it, it gross? Good? Did you add eyeballs to it? I did. I can't see a thing. <laughs> you look really scared. Like what do you it. think of the teeth? The teeth are pretty scary. The teeth fit it very well. I also put real hair. Oh, yeah, real. Who did you get it from? Oh! I bought this wig from the dollar store, and then I did my He-Man costume, remember? Oh, yes, I remember now. I just glued the eyes right in. Ooh, if you put some lights behind it, you can make them glow, like the eyes. Oh, dude, that is so terrifying. Honestly, I'm just gonna show the boys this, but I'm gonna make him red. Whoa! Party mode! Or can we keep him like this? Only if you promise to feed him, Robbie. I'll do my best. I'm gonna go show the boys. Dude, this looks so crazy. Look who I brought! He looks ethereal. I really don't like him. He's your friend, that's all. I don't I want a new friend. I'm good. He's just a little bit upset. No, he looks like a child. I mean, he makes me uncomfortable. What? Oh, children make you uncomfortable. Do you hate kids? Yeah, do you hate kids, huh? You guys are gaslighting me. I just don't like this guy. <laughs> Look, I can even change the colors. Woo! Anyway, boys, thank you so much for checking out my masks. Oh my gosh, what are you working on? Your thumbnail. Why would you give Hair Jordan so many eyes? I just thought it looked creepy and I really liked it. Oh my gosh, this gives me a good idea. Oh no. So now it's time for a famous horror character. You guys might have heard of him. Freddy Krueger. Especially when he's like flat like that. Look at that. Not so scary now, are you, huh? <laughs> anyway, how do we make this better? You're probably asking. He already looks really good. I'm asking myself the exact same question right now. But you know exactly what we're going to do? We're going to get one of these things that came with all my prosthetics. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I actually did a whole video where I tried professional movie makeup VFX makeup. Up with my friend Cassandra, who's a professional VFX makeup artist. If you guys want to check out that video, you can click right over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this inside of there to kind of hold his face. And then I'm just going to get a towel and also shove that in there. Boom, bam. His face is now in place. I think I might use a different background because he kind of blends in. Here we go. Oh, yes. Slightly better. I mean, it doesn't fit the whole background, but it's fine. So like we do, guys, let's just add a little bit of latex to this bad boy. I don't know what it is about latex, but it always just makes things look a lot better. Just add this latex all over his face, even though this mask is literally made out of latex. We're just starting from square one, really. And all up in his ear holes. Yeah, I give you a wet willy, you like that? Is that good? Okay, and we're just about all done covering this guy in latex. Now we have to let him dry. One hour later. Okay guys, so our Freddy Krueger mask is uh, nice and dry and looking creepier than ever. He has almost like this shine to him. So I think he would look much better if we gave him some teeth. These are just some nightmare fangs that I bought from Spirit Halloween. Real easy, we're just gonna liquid latex. Oh my gosh, and already so much more creepy. Let's See, maybe flip it around. Oh, that's better. He's smiling. So I guess I'm gonna have to liquid latex this on now. That shouldn't be too bad. But the only downside is now he looks almost more like a zombie. So I guess I actually have to trim his teeth. We're just gonna give him some nice flat teeth, just like how he does in the movies. I think I'm doing a pretty good job on this. Yeah, that's definitely looking a lot more Freddy Cougar-like. I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut some of his lips back right here. That way you can't see it underneath his teeth. Yeah, there we go. Look at that smile. Look how happy this guy is. Now we're just gonna get some liquid latex. Just put it all over the back of his mouth. 
Now we just gotta push this guy on. Boop -boop -boop. I'm gonna use a little bit of the latex to kind of blend it in a little bit. And now we do that thing that I do for most of the video, and that is wait for the liquid latex to dry. <laughs> now I'm gonna take some makeup and hopefully blend this in. The only reason I'm using this makeup is because I don't really trust in my paint blending abilities to come up with a skin tone color. Hopefully this guy's skin tone matches mine, and he really doesn't. But it's fine. I'm gonna make this work. Just gonna blend it all in. See, you can't even see the seam. Robbie is a makeup guru. I'm gonna make you look absolutely fantastic, Freddy. All the other girl horror monsters are absolutely gonna love you. Just keep blending, blending, blending. You know, it's not my best work, <laughs> but it'll do, okay? So now that we got him completely covered in concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and use a finishing powder. I'm gonna use a paintbrush because I don't wanna use one of my good brushes on this guy. So Freddy is looking pretty good. You know, I covered up all of his blemishes and now I basically have to repaint him all on. But when I put him on the table, he's a little bit unstable, just like my mental health. <laughs> Anyways, essentially, I think I'm gonna have to find a better place to put him. So I thought to myself, why not use my stunt double? Oh my gosh, it's the perfect idea. Look how similar we look. I mean, he's essentially the Walmart version of me with the cheaper hat, his hair isn't as cool. Where'd you get this shirt, bro? <laughs> this guy's kind of scary. Like, look at his hands. His hands even look like mine. That's, ugh. <laughs> We're gonna take off his wig, and his head is actually a little bit smaller than mine, so I'm sure this will fit perfect. There you go. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. This would have been really handy in all the other Halloween masks I did. If you guys want to watch a playlist of me basically repainting every single spirit Halloween mask, I've done most of them, and you can click right here. Anyway, back to Freddy. We're we're gonna repaint you. So now I'm gonna take my little makeup palette and do my very best to sort of repaint all of his burn marks. Oh man, this is gonna take forever. few moments later. Okay, and this is how he looks. Uh, not looking too bad. Definitely just way redder than before. I tried originally just putting like little bits of purple in all the cracks, but it kind of all just blended in and now he's just a giant red guy. So that's fine, I guess, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and cover his entire face in latex. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna give him a little apron. We don't wanna get that all over his shirt. Boom. Might also put some some paper towels on the side. I don't know how much this is actually gonna protect it from the latex, but you know, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm hoping that this will all just kind of blend in. It'll just look a lot like skin, but you know, it could also turn out really bad. So here's to hoping, am I right? Okay guys, I think I may have messed up. Freddy is way, way redder than I thought he would have been. So I think I have to redo his makeup all over? I can't believe I messed up like this. So I guess I'm gonna try my best to cover him back up with makeup and put some, you know, flesh tone back in. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try. If anything, I'm hoping that the crevices uh, sort of just stay red like that, and then his skin skin turns like this pale color. I can only hope. I've used way too much makeup on this already. <laughs> Okay guys, so our Freddy mask is now 100% complete. I gave him a little tattered hat because I thought it'd be cute, I thought it'd be fun, and I was completely right. Look at him, look at that smile. Well, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and try it on really quick. Don't mind me, stunt Robbie. Okay, you ready? Oh, my hat fell off. I'll put it back on later, okay. This looks pretty crazy. Put my hat on, maybe tuck in the shirt. Oh wow. This honestly looks pretty nuts. Now let's go show everyone. I actually ordered Subway for everyone earlier, so what better way to give it to them than in a Friday mask? Oh boys, I got you some food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Dude, you look disgusting. Like, I want to throw up just looking at you. It's horrifying, honestly. You ruined my appetite. You could keep the food. I get to keep all the food? All yeah. of it. It's all yours now. Bench, what do you think? He's only interested in the sandwiches. Oh, do you like the mask? I think he likes it. Pretty good? Yeah, if it ruined my appetite, I think it's pretty good. Did I do a good job repainting this, guys? You repainted it? I, I did. It looks like you got it straight from, like, the store. That's really good, man. I repainted it, and I put in the teeth. This was just a gaping mouth hole before. Wait, yo, for real? Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, no, that teeth looks professionally done. Uh, what about you, boy? Do you like my mask? I think you should have left it as a gaping hole. <laughs> Let's see if I can put it through my eye hole. Oh, goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Anyway, what about you, Koopa? Do you like my mask? I think he likes it. Oh, Tori Dabransky! Oh, Tori Dabransky! What's up? I repainted this Freddy mask. What do you think? Do I look good? How's my complexion? Honestly, you look pretty good. You look very scary, Robbie. I like the teeth. Did you add those? I added them. They were just a gaping hole before. He looks a lot better with the teeth. It looks really scary. Do you want to give me a kiss? One second. Oh, God, no. Never mind. I don't. I don't want to give you a kiss anymore. And I'm okay. <laughs> upstairs. I'm good. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to say this was a success. Hey, guys, I got that door. Doesn't it look a lot better? I like it. Yeah, that's neat. It's, it's all right. Can we just eat lunch already? I also got this Freddy Krueger hand. Does anyone want me to cut their sandwich for you? No, I just want to eat my sandwich. Yeah, Take that something. off and let's eat, dude. Okay. It's part of me now. I gotta go. Um... Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. If you liked it, make sure to give a big old thumbs up. It looks something like this. Oh my god! And you can find it right down there. If you guys want to watch me customize even more spirit Halloween masks, actually, I have an entire playlist where I do that right here. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi Fi. Oh, we're ending. Okay, bye. Oh! Holy shit! Oh! Oh, this idiot stapled himself. I'm beautiful. On the gorgeous. inside. I saw a snake and it hit me. Guys, it's in the can. Oh, guys, it's about to get out. There looks like there's a giant centipede on my face. <laughs> oh, God, God. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my spooky craft corner. And today we're gonna be doing some spooky dookie makeup from the video. 31 spooky makeup ideas by five minute crafts. Let's see what the first one is. So for this one, we're gonna need to lay down some parchment paper. There we go! Then we just break out our glue gun. Let's lock and load. And then we just make the individual drips. One down, a bunch to go. Okay, nice and even. Now I'm gonna let them dry. Are they cooled down yet? Ah! Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, these guys are nice and dry and they don't burn me anymore. Thank you for not hurting the glue. Um, but instead of like peeling them off one at a time, that doesn't sound fun. I think it'd be better to scrape them off. So I'm gonna go get myself a spatula. Let's just go through our hidden door. Oh yes, right in the craft corner kitchen. Is that you Trevor? What are you doing there my boy? Anyway, now it's time to have some fun. Let's see. Ooh, satisfying. Oh, that's so nice. Oh my gosh, they just pop off. So satisfying. Look at all these little zits, boils. I don't know what you call them. Anyway, let's go do some makeup with them. Oh, hey, intern, how you doing? I'm good, what do you want? I was just gonna ask if you would be in one of my makeup videos. I just need your face for a craft. No, Robbie, I'm working. I'm gonna go ask the camera guy then. Oh, hey, hidden camera guy. Oh, hello. I like your shirt. Uh, I was wondering, could I use your face in a craft? I thought I was just your hidden camera guy. You're doing a great job being my hidden camera guy. Uh, this camera is not very suspicious and you do a great job. I just need you to be the face of the craft today, okay? Okay, do you want me to bring this though? Nah, just leave it. Come with me through this okay. wall. Uh, yeah, just, uh, just open her up. Whoa! Welcome to my basement! So here we have everything we need for this classic look. Those hot glue thingies we just made, a cheap little palette off of Amazon, some foundation, some concealer to hopefully match the skin tone, and some finishing powder. But I also have to figure out a way to stick these onto your face. Super glue, maybe? Yes. No, that's probably not a good idea. Let's actually use some of this. This is called Prosate. This is what the, the pros use, you see? So I'm gonna need you to hold this for me uh, right there. Thank you so much. 
I'm just gonna need to fill this up with some Crozade. Oh, don't, stop it. You don't wanna eat that. It looks like milk. Don't drink it! It's forbidden milk, Trevor! Please! Forbidden milk, Trevor! Intern, come here! Trevor wants to drink the forbidden milk, intern. We gotta tell him not to drink the forbidden milk. Don't drink the forbidden milk! Don't drink the forbidden milk! Okay, I think he gets the point. He's not gonna drink the milk, hopefully. I think we've drilled this into his brain. I guess you really didn't need to drill it into his head, Robbie. That's an impact. That's a drill. It's, it's an impact drill. I'm I'm gonna get back to work. I'm done. Thank you. You think after working for me for so long, you really think he knows his tools. Like, anyway, we're gonna stick some of this stuff on your face. I need you to keep holding this for me. Okay. Why don't you stop drinking it, Trev? I need you to st st stop, okay? Don't drink the forbidden milk. I'm just gonna plop that right on. That looks absolutely fantastic, Trev. That's not going anywhere. Now we just have to cover your entire face with them. Sound good? Yeah. Kind of hold your face still. I'm just gonna cover your entire face with these. So now Trevor's face is all covered with the weird bumps and we just have to let it dry. Uh, one second, Trev. Is this helpful? Excellent. Now I have to just stand here holding it for the next 10 minutes. Enjoy. It's okay, I'll do a dance while I'm holding it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's not hitting my face. So now I'm gonna go in with some uh, concealer and just start concealing some of these lumps because he's a little self-conscious of them and I just gotta try and cover him up, you see? It was at this point, Trevor, that I realized that um, it doesn't actually match your skin tone. So I'm gonna have to start all over. I'm just kidding. If we blend it in, maybe that'll help it a little bit. Oh yes, it's so blended into your face now. So this is first person uh, painting face. Yeah, how's that? Is it? Oh my God, that's so dark. It did not need to be this dark. I messed up. Oh my, it's not blending out. Oh, I wasn't even supposed to put it around your eye. Honestly, the red on your eye doesn't look bad. It really just matches the whole aesthetic of everything. And I think it's something that you're really gonna dig. I am excited. Not you, uh, the people watching. Oh, okay. It looked like they added almost like a pink Metallic? Oh, wow, dude, this like matches your hair. What? I'm impressed, makeup. Okay, that is um, one boil down. Now I'm gonna do the rest of this guy's face. So now we're just gonna go in and carefully add some little veins. I don't know how good I'm gonna be at this. Oh, there we go. It's just one of those things where you're like, oh, that looks way better on camera than it does in person. And you guys are watching on camera, so that's all that really matters to me. So now I just gotta do the rest of his face. Mr. Camera Guy, this is looking absolutely fantastic. You look awesome. By awesome, I mean very much in pain. Are you in pain, my friend? Yes. So much pain. It's okay. Suffering. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So now we just got to add uh, little sprinkles of blood everywhere. And I'm going to guess that they just got a little cup, got their blood. Sure you want to trust me? Don't drink the forbidden cool. I'm going to drink the forbidden. Hey, stop. So we're just going to use this toothbrush method where I essentially just dab it into the blood and then we're just going to flick it onto, oh God, I'm dripping it everywhere. I'm just going to, just flicking it all. Let me just, uh, Yes, there you go. I don't know why Five Minute Crafts didn't just tell us to do this. It looks like you just got really bored and you just popped every zit on your face. Oh God, there's a lot of pus that came out of that one. And there we go, Trev. You look absolutely terrible. Uh, and by terrible, I mean actually fantastic. I did a fantastic job on this makeup. I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Let's go show the intern. Okay. Hey intern, I just wanted to show you what you missed out on. So, ew. Doesn't Trevor look absolutely fantastic, absolutely gorgeous? No, he looks so gross, bro. What, what did he do to you? Are you okay? I'm beautiful. On I'm the inside. Rude. Yeah. Wow, that was rude. That was so mean. Come on, let's go. We don't need this guy. Okay, now we're gonna remove these little things from um, his face. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a butter knife and just pop them right off. Oh, wow. Oh, yummy. <laughs> this is how I got rid of my zits at home. Oh, oh, yummy. How much would you want to lick this? 
<laughs> no, don't, don't, stop, stop. It's so satisfying. It feels so weird. It's just like cake. Is it cake or is it Trevor? Well, there we go. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna need another volunteer. The intern didn't want to do the last one, but uh, maybe he'll want to do it this time. Oh, intern! Oh, what's up, Robbie? Wait, how long have you been in there? Don't ask questions, what do you need? I was just wondering if I could uh, do some makeup on you really quick. I don't want to do it on my face because I feel like I'm gonna break out. Is it gonna be as gross as the cameraman's? Basically gonna be splitting your face in half. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is a perfect canvas, a perfect face. First off, we don't need these guys. Uh, Robbie. Mikey, I don't know why you don't uh, dye the tips of your hair green. Honestly, you're the strawberry boy. So we're gonna start off by putting a line straight down your face, uh, just almost like a cracked face. They used a eyebrow pencil for this, but I actually ran out of pencils. So it looks like I'm just using my black paint on my palette. And then it goes down onto the lip, over the lip, and then down over the face, onto the neck, boom. Then we go and get some white, and just put white all over his face. Okay, so now we gotta add some bruising. Some bruising in turn. Some internal bruising. <laughs> I hate you. I did not sign up for funny puns. Just go ahead and add a little purple under the forehead, under the eye. This is mass bruising. Ooh, gotta do that contour. Gotta get that cheekbone. Are you gonna make me look like Handsome Squidward? I'm hijacking the craft. I'm just gonna make you into Handsome Squidward. Okay, I did it way too good. <laughs> oh my god. I messed up! That's not making it better. Have I ever told you how much of a not professional I am at this? I mean, Robbie, you're taking instructions from five minute crafts. I don't know how professional they are. <laughs> this is all instructions from the craft. I am a professional crafter. Thank you for reminding me, Mikey. He said my name. You do look like handsome Squidward. What are we redrawing, Robbie? So we're redrawing on the part where his face is kind of seamed together, and his fake face meets his real face. Oh, this is supposed to be in, in the middle of my lip. Oh, is it? There you go. Feel how hard the tip of this paintbrush is. Oh my god, Robbie, your Here, tip is so hard. Oh, it's, it's it's like pointy. It like you should keep I sharp objects out of my eyes. So now I'm gonna have to add the stitches. It looks like they basically just put a red dot on either side. I thought they did the fake blood first. I think they did the red makeup behind oh. it. Oh. Yeah, and then they did the fake blood afterwards. How dare I question the craft king? Hey, why are you questioning the cat? The cat yeah. fiend. Why are you questioning the cat fiend? Don't question the craft king. That was actually a lot more work than I thought it would be. <laughs> it's just so tiring contorting myself around your body. A little kinky. Just kidding, Mikey. You were right. I did the order incorrectly. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay. Well, we're just going to deal with what we got, okay? But still, don't ever question me or you're fired. So it looks like they used fake blood on this, but um, the blood that they have is really thick, and all the blood I have is almost like liquid. So if I put it on his face, it'll just drip right off. So what I think I'm gonna do, here, hold this in turn, is I'm gonna get some all-purpose flour, just put it right on our plate. The intern's like, not the flour! Not after the last video you made me clean! I hate the flowers. And then add a little bit of this fake blood. I have no idea if this is gonna work, by the way. I'm just guessing. And we're just gonna go ahead and mix it up all in there. Actually, yeah, I think that's working. It almost looks like tomato soup. So now I'm just gonna go and go straight down his wound. It's a little bit more than a wound at this point. <laughs> you get half your face like sliced open. Is that even considered a wound? I thought you would be considered dead. I think this is almost too thick of blood. It worked a little too well. Robbie, you're never happy. <laughs> Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add the actual stitches. He's just so injured. That's a way too big of a stitch. Oh my God, that's so big. I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. You know the best part of this is Robbie doesn't even own makeup remover. <laughs> I own makeup remover. Then use it right now to fix up that stitch. I don't wanna. <laughs> what? I was just upside down for like five minutes. 
How's it look? It's okay. <laughs> you don't look impressed. It looks good. I mean, it's artisan crafts. Okay, now I'm gonna add the blood back. Oh my gosh. More? Dude, look, I, I have to do the where they go in. See? Doesn't that look better? That was, This is actually part of the craft. You know what? You're right, it does look a little better. Don't question the craft king. Boom! Look at that! It all came together! There looks like there's a giant centipede on my face! <laughs> this is my version, and that's their version. How do you guys think we did? Let us know down in the comments down below. But I think I did a fantastic job in turn. Oh, we're done! Yeah. Oh. Was that... <laughs> Oh, was that not it? Wait, did I do it wrong? No, it looks great. Wow, Robbie, you did such a good job. <laughs> Let's go show the hidden camera guy. Oh, hidden camera guy! Where are you, hidden camera guy? I didn't even see you. Oh my god, you're so well hidden. We just came here to ask you something. Um, how do you feel about his makeup? Um, what would you rate his makeup? I would. Mm. Out of 10, how would you rate the, my makeup skills? Like maybe a four? A four? What? I'm sub six at least. I, I think it's like a three. Two and a half at best, actually. Whatever, I'm gonna improve my skills. I'm gonna keep trying, okay? Well guys, it looks like the boys didn't like my last makeup, but I think that this one will definitely get them for sure. All I gotta do is get a straw and some scissors and just cut it up big enough to fit inside my nose. That looks about the right size. And then one that'll fit inside my mouth, just like this. And I just gotta shove it in my nose. Oh, I really, oh my gosh. Is this gonna get stuck? No! Ah! This is scary, I don't like that. Ah! I didn't think that shoving a straw up my nose would be so scary. I think they actually did it more up and down. Now that I'm looking at it, like that, and then they did it like this. I think the boys might fall for this one. Why did you do? Why are you screaming? You've been pranked. I made it look like I put a straw up my nose. Why would you do that? You've both been pranked. What do you guys put a straw up? What do you, what do you guys think about that? Was it good? I actually thought it looked good. Yeah? Look. I'm just confused. Why would you do that? Uh like uh uh Yeah, that yeah, that looks good. Uh I'm ashamed. Robbie, only a guy like you would accidentally shove a straw up his mouth. Okay, well, I don't think they're super impressed. So, I guess we're gonna have to do better than that. Okay guys, so instead of making this look like a human bite, I'm actually gonna make it into a snake bite. That way I can do a little prank on the boys. So we're just gonna go and get our palette, get a little bit of red, and then it appears that they just sort of, boom. Oh wait, I'm doing a snake, I'm, I already messed up. Ah, how did I forget that easily? I cleaned it up for the most part, we're gonna try this again. I'm just gonna get a little uh, red mark right there, and then another one right there. Just did a little dot over it, a little black dot. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Then they went and blended that bad boy in. Then it looks like I'm gonna have to get myself a Sharpie. That means I'm gonna have to sneak past the boys. I'm gonna have to try my best to make sure that they don't see my bite. Oh, hey boys, don't mind me. I'm just going to my craft corner. Oh, I don't think they suspected anything. Yes, I'm going back to the spooky basement. Don't mind me, boys. <laughs> and then for the final step, we just have to get our pen and write the tiniest little mark in the middle. Honestly, that wasn't even worth it. It looks the exact same. I sabotaged my mission for nothing. Okay, now let's have a little fun with the boys. Okay, guys, we're in the craft corner right now. One, two, and... Oh! I was outside and I saw a snake and it bit me. It bit me, guys. Well, why'd you? Oh, it bit. Oh, look, it bit me. Guys, it's in the can. I'm so scared. It feels like it's gonna come out any second. Stop, please, stop oh doing my God. that. Guys, stop. Doing... stop. Oh, guys, it's about to get out. Stop. Oh. Are you? <laughs> You've been pranked. <laughs> be a prank video. You're supposed to be filming a Halloween vlog. Uh, what do you guys think of the makeup? Doesn't it look good? It tricked you guys. It, you guys fell for it. It actually looks good. So just, oh. I'm gonna have to say if this one works. Uh, Woo! Okay, 
you guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is prepare the staples. I'm just gonna take a little strip of staples and start pulling them apart. I'm doing this now because I know that when I have the makeup on, I'm only gonna have one arm. So I'm just being real prepared, especially since I'm doing this on myself. So first we break out our petroleum jelly. Just get a big old scoop of that. Ooh, yummy. And then it looks like they just got a little bit of flour, all purpose and just mixed it right into their petroleum jelly. And this will make a really nice scar wax. It's great fun, great for the whole family. I guess I'll try and do this with my hands. I don't like how sticky it is. Ew. And that looks like they put foundation on afterwards, but I'm actually just gonna mix it right in there because I think it'll make it look a lot more skin-like, you know? So gonna go ahead and, oh, and I was right. Ew. Yeah, we just mix that into our make-do skin putty. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I'm just gonna keep mixing this up until it looks like a better consistency. So I found this sculpting paintbrush in one of the little uh, paintbrush kits that I got. I think I'm gonna try and use this for the craft. Wow, oh my gosh, this is a game changer. Now I'm gonna try and apply it to my arm. So I'm gonna smoothly put it onto my arm. Doesn't that look fantastic? <laughs> I don't think it's my skin tone. <laughs> it's okay, it'll blend in. If I'm just shaking my arm around real fast, the boys will never even notice. And honestly, I think that's as good as I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna do the gash now and a little boobity boop. Oh, hoo, hoo, look at that. Fantastic, great job, me. Now I'm gonna get some of the fake blood I made earlier and just dab it right in there. Oh, wow. Honestly, if I did a better job blending in the sides, <laughs> slash if I had the right skin tone, this would actually look pretty good. I'm not upset with this. Okay, now I'm gonna go and get my staples and carefully just insert them into my arm. Boom, just really carefully. Okay, good, good. Honestly, I think I did a pretty good job with this. Maybe blend it in on the sides a little bit better. And there we go. Just to add a little touch, I'm gonna grab the stapler and I'm just gonna dip it in my blood. Just get it all over there. That way they think that I just stapled my arm, see? Ah, oh, yes. The boys are totally gonna fall for this. Okay, guys, let's do this. Oh, guys, my God! Oh, oh, oh my God! Holy shit! Oh, oh, this idiot stapled it, bro! I was playing with my axe and I, I stapled the wound shut! Oh. Car. Oh. I have my car! I have my car! I have my bike! I have my bike! Oh, let's go! Get on the bike! Get on the bike! Get on the bike! Okay, I can't hold on. I'm holding the stapler and the camera. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Let's go. Okay. Oh yeah, it's emergency. Okay. Guys, we don't actually have to do this because you've been pranked. What? Look, it's not even. It's not even real makeup. Oh, that does look like real makeup. You've been pranked the entire time. It looks like ice cream. No, don't eat that. Stop. Stop. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, guys. Like the video. Make sure to like the video. Subscribe. Okay. Goodbye. I am Gizmo. Gizmo! I'm also Gizmo! <laughs> hey guys, Gremlin coming through. <laughs> oh, hey Trevor, I'm Gizmo. Hey Gizmo, see? How you doing? My name is Robbie, and spooky season is upon us. So I have the boys decorating my spooky basement. Those Christmas lights look great, guys. Fantastic. And to celebrate spooky season, we're gonna be doing one of my favorite things, and that is repaint spirit Halloween masks. I have so many! And today, we're gonna be painting masks from one of my favorite horror movies. And that movie, guys, is The Gremlins. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so here is our little gizmo guy. How many of you guys have seen Gremlins? Let me know down in the comments down below. It was one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid, so this is gonna be a lot of fun for me. The first thing I think I wanna do is make his skin-like parts a little bit more skin-like. <laughs> so you know what time it is. It's latex time. Yep, just a bunch of latex, you know? Just put the latex all over his little nose, all over his little mouth, you know? Just make it cute, make it frilly. Do your thing, Gizmo. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all over his eyes. Just all up in his eye. All up in the other eye hole. Perfect. Now we just gotta do his little ears. And now we just let the latex dry for a little bit. The latex is dry and it looks a bit more human-like. Not bad. But I was just staring at his ears and I just thought, Gizmo's ears? They're so much longer. They extend, like they should be out here, right? So I think I'm actually gonna make Gizmo's ears even bigger. I thought of a few different ways to do this, but ultimately I think the best way is to add some rope and get a little bit of wire to help his ears stay in place and just basically make an extension of his ear. So I'm gonna do my very best to try this. Hopefully it doesn't turn out really bad. But the first step of this I think I'm gonna do is actually carve out this little piece right here using my Dremel tool. Cool. That's actually dead. Oops, let me get a different Dremel tool. This one's cordless, so take that battery. Anyway, I'm gonna take my Dremel tool and just carve this out. And just put the rope right in there, and boom, it's an extension to his ear. So now that we got a good length on his ear, let's try like right here. Now we flip it around, do the other side. Boopity boop. And we're gonna go ahead and glue these guys in. Boopity boop. So now I'm gonna go in and try and insert this malleable wire into the rope. Boopity boop. Should just go right in there, hopefully. <laughs> Takes a little bit of coaxing, I guess. I think that cutting it into a point is probably what's gonna help me the most. I'm gonna try just grinding it down. So I went and grinded the tip down to a point using my belt sander, but you guys can do that using any kind of sandpaper. It'll just take a little longer. Oh, that's going in so much easier now. I'm just kind of do a twisting motion. Be real careful not to stab myself. Okay guys, so I got this one fully in, but it took a while. Like I was just kind of struggling doing it. I noticed that it was mostly a twisting motion to get it in. So what I did was I put the wire inside my drill. I sharpened the end and made it as straight as I could. I'm gonna try and just put it straight into this rope. Just carefully insert it into the rope. Wow, that's really working. I mean, it definitely wasn't as clean as the other side, but I got it in and that's all that matters, I guess. I'm just gonna hot glue that one down. <laughs> Hopefully this holds it. I think it will. So now that I do that, I'm gonna make some supporting uh, wires coming out for his ears using basically the same method. Looks good, let's add some wires. So this side is done and it doesn't look bad. I definitely wish I made them a little bit longer. Oops. Um, <laughs> Almost more like a gradient, like coming out. One other thing I wish I did different is I wish I kind of put all of them together and twisted them together so they'd stay in place. Because before I was just kind of feeding one off of the other one. So I actually came up with a method of making these wires super straight and way longer. The first step is getting my wire, putting it in my drill. Then I straighten it as much as I can using my hands. Then once I get it basically as straight as I can, I go over to my vise and I put the wire in the vise. And I twist the drill until I have a perfectly straight wire. And since it's twisted up, it actually reinforced the wire. So now it's a lot less malleable to bend and it's actually a lot stronger. Anyway, that was just a fun little thing that I found out I could do. So I'm gonna keep it on and just Start putting all these wires into place. I'm gonna try and do a really long one. I feel like this is gonna get dangerous really quick. And there we go. Now that I got all the wires in place, I'm actually gonna try a method from a video that I tried recently called More Spooky Halloween SFX Makeup by 5 Minute Crafts and TikTok, where basically I get some of this tape. This is like medical tape in a first aid kit. And I'm gonna put this over his ears like this. I might use a different tape actually. Oh yes, this one looks good. And essentially just fleshing out Gizmo with this tape and his ears. There we go. That looks already 
so much better than the other side. He just needed longer ears, and this was the move. And he looks way more proportionate than before. Now it's time for us to add latex. Uh, so first, I'm gonna go ahead and put down some of this parchment paper so I just don't get it everywhere. Honestly, I should have done this the first time. Oops. And we just begin applying our latex. Just pour it all on there. Honestly, this is probably the best way to do it. Maybe, I don't really know. So now the boy is all covered in latex. I'm gonna go ahead and recover his mouth, actually, because some of the latex fell off. Now that he's nice and covered in latex, we're gonna let him dry again. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and kind of add like a flesh tone to the latex on this guy. I mostly need to do it on the ears because now the white is way different. This is all coming together really good. Look at that, nice and floppy, and it kind of looks like bone inside. I'm just gonna take my makeup and just splatter it right on there and then just blend it in. Fun fact guys, this is the makeup that I use on my face. So in a way, Gizmo is gonna be the same uh, flesh tone as me, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Okay, so our gizmo's looking pretty good. His ears are looking very fleshed out. And honestly, I think the ears are a huge improvement. So now, instead of this plastic finish, we're gonna go ahead and give him real fur. I have two different kinds of fur. Ironically, I think I got both of them from Spirit Halloween. I don't even know what this is for. So I'm just gonna use some of this uh, tacky spray adhesive I got from Walmart to help me stick the fur onto his little furry face. Oh, these are like leg warmers, I guess. So how funny, these are like like, are supposed to warm your legs, but instead we're gonna use it to warm your heart. So using a pair of scissors, I'm just gonna go in, and now I have to cut the pieces so that they line up with his little brown hair. There is grain in this fur, so I also wanna match the grain on his fur. So based on the reference photo, it kind of works its way on the outside of his face. So it'll kind of go out like this. There we go, that definitely covers his face. <laughs> Now I have to make holes for his eyes, the white fur. I'm just gonna make an approximate insertion around his mouth. Okay, not bad so far. I'm just gonna inch it slightly bigger and bigger. Ooh, I gotta cut out his little nose hole. There we go, we got his mouth. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with his eyes. Not bad, he's definitely starting to look more like Gizmo. Now I have to carefully figure out where the white has to go. This is definitely difficult. Now I'm gonna cut the white to sort of fit into these three pieces. Okay, now I just have to glue all this down. So I'm just carefully, a little white on there. And there we go. He turned out absolutely fantastic. I love this. This is like a drastic improvement from the original. I think I did a really good job. I mean, I got hair all over my fingers now, but this was absolutely worth it. Look how freaking cute he is. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll try it on my face. I'm gonna have to say that Gizmo turned out so good. Look it, before, after, before, after, what the heck? He looks, oh my gosh. I am so happy with this. I'm gonna go ahead and try the mask on. Admittedly, I can't see very well now because when I put latex over the eyes, it just covered everything up. Look at me. I'm Gizmo. Guys, I have a good idea. I stole this Gizmo onesie from Tori. Honestly, I didn't even need to make the mask. Look at this, this face. I am Gizmo. Gizmo! I also have these furry slippers. I mean, they don't really match him very well. I mean, it's better than my socks, right? And now I have fluffy feet. Woo! Now let's put on our mask. I'm gonna go show the boys. Oh look, a bench. What do you think of my gizmo? Do you like it? I'm gizmo. Bench, I'm your new friend gizmo. Is it a good mask, bench? Where even is he? There he is. Do you like my mask? Is it a good mask? I'm your new friend. I can't tell if he likes it or not. Oh, hey, Trevor. I'm Gizmo. <laughs> It's actually really, really good. You like my, I can't see anything, and it keeps slipping off my face, <laughs> and I keep getting hair in my mouth, but besides that, <laughs> I think it's pretty good. Do you like the ears? I really do a good job on the ears. Right? my head. Oh, intern! Hi. Hey, intern, what do you think of my gizmo mask? Bro, I don't know who's gizmo. You've never seen gremlins? I've never seen the gremlin, bro. I don't know what you're supposed to be right now. Look at me, I'm gizmo. You look funny, but that's it. You look amazing. Thanks, Trevor. Uh, bro, you're goofy. <laughs> I truly value your opinion. You're goofy. Whatever, intern. Anyway, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this transformation absolutely works. Oh, you're Chewbacca! 
Oh, okay. I'm taking my son with me. Bye, Chewbacca. I'm gonna go ahead and ask for someone's opinion who I actually care about. Let's go down to Tori Dabransky's spooky basement. Oh, we're part of the Dabransky! <laughs> Gizmo Can you forever? just be Gizmo forever? Oh my god, you're so cute. No, put it back on. Oh my god, you're so cute. Oh, this is my friend now. Oh hey, my god, I love we him. are both Gizmo. He's my little friend now. I'm stealing him. Wait, I want him to sing. So cute. Did you kiss me? I, I did. can't see very well in this at all. Oh, he's so cute. Well, I'm glad Tori Dabransky likes it. That's the only real opinion that I cared about. I gotta go. This is very hot, actually. No, leave. <sighs> don't leave. Don't leave. I'll, I'll see you later. No. I gotta go. Okay, guys, so here is our gremlin boy. He looks pretty spooky already, but I think I can improve the teeth and also give him more of like a slimy texture. It's very plasticky. Also, the ears could be a little bit more creepy. Anyway, let's start out with the teeth. Okay, Mr. Gremlin, sir, I'm gonna be your dentist today. So it looks like you got some okay teeth, but we're gonna give you way better teeth. So I'm gonna go ahead and break out our classic acrylic nails. I just gotta cut them down to like this big. Gremlin don't have very big teeth apparently. So now that I perfectly placed this guy right here, I'm gonna move him. And we'll start cutting down all of our teeth. Boop, boop, boop. And one down. Okay, there we go. Then we put our guy back. And now it's time for me to practice my dentistry. Don't worry, you're in great hands. Let's go ahead and carefully stick it on there. Boom! Now I just have to do that with the rest of them. I kind of like how they turned out. Definitely a lot more creepy. So now we need to make this guy look really slimy. But before we do that, I'm gonna take off his hair. That way I don't mess it up. There we go. And like we do guys, I'm gonna start applying our latex. You see that? I'm gonna be using quite a bit of it. This whole plate is full. Like I said, this should give him a very nice skin-like texture. The trick with this is you wanna put it on kinda thick. I almost think I should have sanded him down first to help the latex stick to him. We're gonna find out if this actually sticks. Okay, and the latex is nice and dry. He definitely looks a lot more slimy, which is exactly what we were going for. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add some hot glue to his gums just so that it blends in a little bit better. So just like Gizmo from earlier, I think I'm gonna make this guy's ears just a little bit longer because they just feel so short to me. They need to be long boys, you know? Just long, giant flaps of skin. So I'm gonna essentially do the same thing that I did with Gizmo. Do the wire method we used on Gizmo. Boop, boop, boop. That's much better. Compared to this, night and day. So now, just like Gizmo, we're gonna add the wire. Now it's time to flesh out his ears. Now I'm gonna try and repaint his ears. I'm gonna do the flesh color right here and sort of do like the green. I like his side profile, it looks good. So he's looking really good, really solid, really happy with how he's turning out. And now we just have to add his last little fuzz piece. Boom. I just gotta glue that on and maybe add one more little layer of latex to kind of seal everything in. So much latex has gone into this, but basically every time I add a layer of paint, I add a layer of latex over it to kind of seal in all the colors. That way it just won't rub off, you know? But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this bad boy on. Okay guys, so this is how our gremlin mask started. You know, very plasticky. The teeth aren't very good. The ears are very short, just a review. And this is how he turned out. Look at him! He's so big I can't even fit him in frame. The teeth are really freaking creepy. This is before and this is after. Look at the difference on that. That's wild. Anyway, let's try it on. So I'm just gonna be wearing this gizmo onesie. It's almost like the gremlin is in disguise. I also don't have a green gremlin onesie. I don't know if they even make them. Um, maybe that should be something I craft next. Let me know down in the comments if you think I should. Here's me wearing the gremlin mask, and then I can put the little gizmo hoodie over it. So he's like, he's cosplaying as gizmo, see? <laughs> I'm gizmo, see? I'm gizmo. And I'm also gizmo! <laughs> Let's be gizmos together, Toby. 
Now let's go show the boys. Hey guys, Gremlin coming through. And I actually can't see nearly as well as I did in the last mask, and I couldn't see very well at all. I don't know where you guys are. Toby, guys. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Sorry, did I mess up your work? All my work's been destroyed. Oh my god. What do you guys think of my gremlin's mask? It smells kind of funny, actually. What about Toby's gremlin mask? <laughs> That's better. He looks better. What would you rate this mask out of 10? Um, I'd say a 7. A 7 out of 10? What he's saying is I had a lot of room for improvement. He won't tell me what to improve on, though. Hey, intern, what do you think of my gremlin mask? That's Yoda! You're Yoda now! Execute Star Wars. Order 66. Oh. My God! You're Yoda from Star Wars. No, if I'm you're a... going for Yoda. Then I give you a ten out of ten. You even got the white hair and everything. Can we oh fire him? My God. This is what I get for hiring a Gen Z. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Hey, Benj, what do you think of my gremlin mask? Do you like it? What about mine? Do you like my gremlin mask? <laughs> do you like it? I don't think Benj likes Gremlin Toby. Do you like Gremlin Toby? I don't think he's a fan. Oh wow, the green lighting in Tori's spooky basement hallway looks really good. With the gremlin mask. I'm Tori Debranski! Come here, we have something to show you! <gasps> oh my god! I'm a gremlin! Oh, you're so cute! And we're cosplaying as Gizmo. Oh, okay. I yeah, like we're it. trying to cosplay. You're trying to be low key about it? Yeah, we're trying to be extra. I can't see anything. You have to be careful. There's a step so, here. oh, there's a step there. Oh, thank you. Oh, do you want to carry me? No, 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 oh, I don't. Oh, yeah, no, just carry you're me. like, no. <laughs> It's so cute. I love gremlins. In case you can't tell, I love gremlins. I love gremlins. They're so cute. Especially this one. I can't see anything. You're so cute. I don't even look. Oh, I'm so my hot. God. Woo! Oh, he was upside down. <laughs> well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that this gremlin mask turned out absolutely fantastic. So cute. Can, can you make me one? You want me to make you one? Can you make me Greta? Please? You want me to Please? make you a Greta? Yeah. Wait, a girl gremlin? Please, I want to be Greta. Please, I'll, I'll be Greta forever. Sound good, Tori Dabrowski? So yeah, guys, if this video gets 5,000 likes, I'll make Tori Dabrowski a Greta gremlin mask. Please. Sound good? Please like the video. It's all I ever wanted in my life. I just want to be Greta. Please. Please like it. If you don't like the video, I will, I will go to your house. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to give the video a big old thumbs up. Down in the comments down below, guys. Make sure to tell me what Halloween mask you think I should paint next. I might just do it in the next video. If you guys want to watch me repaint even more fun, spooky spirit Halloween masks, I actually have an entire playlist that you can watch right here. Okay, guys. Love you so much. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Okay, bye. Ah! None of them are dry. They just break. Look at that. All this hard work in the trash. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my spooky craft corner. So earlier, I went to my local grocery store and picked up a couple of cute little pumpkins, but unfortunately, these aren't gonna last forever. So I went over to Michael's and I got some fake ones instead. They sold three different kinds and that gave me a great idea. So for this first pumpkin, I'm gonna have one minute to carve it. So since I only have one minute to carve this pumpkin, I'm actually gonna pre-gather all of my supplies. That way, I'm not frantically just running around and looking for them. Easy peasy beautiful cover girl so i guess the countdown starts right now let's do it oh my gosh i don't even know what i would do oh, oh my gosh i didn't even have like a pre like thought out scary face i just kind of went with it and i already messed up let's see 30 seconds i spent 30 seconds just drawing the face okay this is why i brought the torch Come on! I don't know if I'm gonna actually be able to do this in the time that I have left. That's nuts. Uh, oh, that went through like butter though. Wow, that definitely helped. Ugh, that smells like burning plastic. Beautiful. Oh, and I ran out of time before I could even finish it. I don't think one minute is enough time for me to completely carve a pumpkin. So I'm just gonna finish this one up a little bit past the time. It's the first one. It's practice, okay? 
So this ended up taking me like three minutes to carve. Not bad, uh, but it's definitely not one minute. <laughs> but you know what? I think it still turned out pretty cute. Uh, it's just a cute little jack-o'-lantern. Maybe throw a little candle in there. Not bad. So this is what I could do in realistically five minutes. I didn't speed on this because I didn't want to cut myself with the blade. That's also very important, guys. Don't cut yourself with the blades. They're very dangerous. Now let's see what I can do in one hour. So now we go on to our slightly bigger pumpkin. I don't have a lot of surface area to work with. It's a little bit squished, you see? I guess I'm gonna have to do like a long mouth maybe and some scary eyes. So starting exactly right now, I have one hour to carve this pumpkin. I actually have no idea what I'm gonna do for this. So I'm gonna look up some spooky pumpkin inspo. Ooh, I really like this one. So I have to put this onto there. I think I can do it. It looks a little complicated, but you know what? I'm gonna try my best. So it looks like we have some very jagged lines. It needs to kind of like curve a little bit. I hope I'm not doing too many because every one I do, that's one I have to cut out. <laughs> Oh, and then I still have to fit his eyes in there. I'm not gonna have any room for his eyes! Okay, so this is why I did it in pencil. We'll try this again. I'm gonna start with the eyes this time, maybe. Way too low. Dude, I am so good at this. I'm just so good at art. Oh my gosh, I've already used seven minutes. Oh. I'll try and clean it up in the carving. If not, you know, it is what it is. So now I gotta do kind of like the opposite. I'm just gonna give him some, some tails on his eyes, just really make him spooky, you know? So far his eyes, turn it out good. Now I gotta do his mouth. I'm just gonna do the edges of his mouth first because I think it'll be easier. I decided I'm gonna put him in this little stand to maybe help me hold me in place. Honestly, not bad. This was a cheap laptop stand that I made. Uh, I didn't have paint, so I just covered it in tape. <laughs> of course I did. 48 minutes on the clock. So I'm done drawing out the mouth and it only took me 15 minutes to draw everything. So now I have to carve all the details out. I don't know if I can do this in an hour. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm gonna try my best. I'm making admittedly way better time than I thought I would. Now the mouth, this is gonna take probably longer than both the eyes combined. Ooh, Ugh, one section down. Okay, cool, got all that out, nice. Intern, where are you intern? I forgot he doesn't work today. Feels like no matter how hard I try, I always get super glue all over my hands and it's just a, gross super glue mess afterwards. My hands get all, ugh, gross. Ah! We got one over here. Hopefully that holds it in place. I'm gonna let the super glue dry and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the final touches on it. And with the last eight minutes I have left, I'm gonna carefully take my paint and uh, paint the inside of my pumpkin boy. This is much harder than I thought it would be. I think I might actually have to cut off his top. <laughs> Oops. Ah, uh, I can feel him breaking. The super glue's not dry yet and I only have seven minutes, but I have no choice to do this. There we go. Six minutes left, I have to paint. Maybe if I just put the paint in there. <sighs> Just dump it all in, swirl it around so the paint just gets everywhere. Just paint in his eyes, his mouth. <gasps> no! I broke his mouth! What have I done? Oh, I messed up. Just pretend that's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> it's just a jack-o'-lantern, Robbie. You don't gotta get stressed out about it, okay? But I kind of feel like I have to when I only have two minutes left! Oh my gosh, that's still very broken. That super glue didn't even work. Ah! It's falling off, that's so stressful. Stay there, please just don't move. Oh my gosh, I messed up so bad. So now that the time is done, I'm gonna go ahead and say that uh, this is complete. Um, I was gonna wash all the black paint off, but I just didn't have time. Plus, you know, the black paint kind of looks cool anyway. But overall, you know, spending an hour on this, I'm actually pretty happy with it. You know, it could have turned out a lot worse. I guess we'll see how it looks in the dark.
So for the biggest pumpkin, what I think I'm gonna do is make this guy into Audrey 2. I swear I didn't mean for that to rhyme. Uh, that was a complete accident. Now, there's a lot that goes into uh, turning this into this. So um, I'm gonna have to probably do a little blueprinting first. So the first thing to make Audrey 2 is I'm gonna need to make the head. So there's actually a bunch of different versions of Audrey 2. We got some big ones, we got some small ones. This one looks pretty promising. I could make a giant version of when he was tiny in the Maxwell House coffee can, but then I'd have to find a giant Maxwell House coffee can or something like that. I'm kind of thinking something along the lines of this. We just got a bunch of these really big, beautiful vines growing up into this bulb, like the flower, but this is gonna be our pumpkin. And I think I'm gonna keep the head kind of very pumpkin-like so that it just kind of blooms into a pumpkin with big old teeth like that. So I'll start off with our pumpkin and then it's gonna have like the mouth. That'll be the bottom of the pumpkin. And then I think I wanna keep the stem as the nose. Or would it make sense to have the stem coming out of the stem? Because I think that would make more sense. Otherwise, I'll have all these vines kind of coming out of the back. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of the stem as the nose idea. It would be pretty fun though. But I'm gonna put the stem back here. Then we're gonna get ourselves a pot, add some leaves, or maybe some stems. I could add some like fun little pumpkin stems even, like growing off of it. That would be fun. Some like little turny turns. This is the stem for the pumpkin. Then we need some big old teeth. So this is looking pretty good, but I think it would be even better if I added some of these leaves maybe. They have like a big leaf behind this one. I'm not sure how that would really look with pumpkins. How do pumpkins grow in the wild? Pumpkins growing in the wild. So they kind of look like this. So I'm probably gonna have to go in and make the leaves separate. I don't know where I would buy leaves like this. Especially cause they have like that, uh, those little spikes on them, like the little furry texture. So I have to figure out how to add that furry texture to it. So we're basically gonna need the pumpkin head, the leaves, and the stem. And then we have to figure out how to put it all together. So I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is make the pumpkin head. Cause that seems like the most interesting part. Also, we could call it something like Audrey 3, but I'm gonna call this one Tor. Tori 2. Oh yes, Tori 2 looks absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna give this to my girlfriend when I'm done, by the way. Let's start on this pumpkin head. So as I've been looking at it, I genuinely think that keeping the stem as a nose would be really cute. Because if you look at classic jack-o'-lanterns, they're essentially growing out of the bottom of the pumpkin anyway. It doesn't make any sense, and I never really thought about this until now. But you know, th they still have a stem on the top, see? It's like this, you see? It's, it's, it's the same concept, like there's the body, and there's a little stem coming out of that. So I think it would make sense to make that the nose. I'm just gonna make that the nose. That's my artistic idea. First thing I'm gonna do is draw a line where I wanna cut the mouth. I think if this sort of, the stem was like the very tip and then go down one of these lines. Yeah. And just go evenly down one of these lines on either side. Would that be a big enough jaw? I don't think so. I'm gonna make the jaw just a little bit bigger. Erase that line. This is exactly why I'm using pencil. Now I need to go and grab my X-Acto knife, which is actually right over here. A boobity boo. Now I'm gonna carefully cut this bad boy. It's already coming together. Rawr, 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 rawr. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy with that so far. Now, I need to figure out how I'm gonna keep this open like this. Or alternatively, I could just keep cutting it. There we go. Now the first thing I'm gonna do while I have it open is paint the entire inside black. Or maybe I might actually do red. Audrey too had purple on the inside of his mouth, so I could do red or purple. I also forgot to set a timer, so here's 10 hours, guys. This is only gonna be 10 hours when I'm physically working on the pumpkin. I'm actually going to put nine hours and 45 minutes since I already technically started working on it. I genuinely hope that I can give this guy justice and uh, you know, put in the proper work it deserves. Okay, let's get to painting the inside of this pumpkin. This beautiful purple. I almost wanna mask off the outside of the pumpkin before I do this, but I have time so I can just wash it off if I mess up, I guess. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put this pencil here to hold it open. Life hack! So just painting it took about 15 minutes. So while this is drying, I'm gonna start working on the stem. So for the stem and the vines, I think I'm gonna have to make them kind of rigid yet bendable. And that's why I have this uh, super thick wire. This is 16 gauge dark 
and a lead wire. It's for like making models and stuff. But basically, I'm gonna use a bunch of these, put them inside of his stem, and then I think I'm gonna cover these in rope and uh, maybe some cotton balls, maybe a little bit of tissue paper, and then just completely uh, just drench the entire thing in latex, paint it green, boom bam, we're done. So I have my tissue, now I'm gonna have to go get some rope. I tried looking inside of my rope box, but I didn't see any rope that I really felt fit the vibe of vines. So I decided to give my good friend Dummy Robbie a visit. Hey sir, how you doing? Looking a little bald there. I decided I'm taking these. Thank you so much. I'll pay you back. Oh. Oh my gosh, that guy is so creepy. So now that I have my rope, I'm just gonna take our Annie lid wire and just string it right through. Luckily, this comes apart into three pieces, so it's pretty easy to put it through this rope. I'm just gonna occasionally put it through one of the little strings just to help hold it together. Let's hope this rope holds itself together better than I do. I haven't actually decided how long I want his stem yet, but I'm thinking if it's two feet tall, that should be great. So here's my ruler, and I'm gonna cut this to be about two feet long. A boo bitty boo. Using our cutting tool, we're just gonna cut it. I'm gonna do a little bit longer, 27. There we go, 27 just to be safe. I'm gonna do a few of these. Whew, that should be good enough for now. How's that? Will that hold up an entire pumpkin? I don't think it will, but I know a little trick that'll help these stiffen up a little bit. So first, we're gonna need our power drill. Oh, where the heck did it go? Oh, there's my saw. Hey, are you using this right now? <laughs> you are using it? Um, uh, 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 yeah. Idiot right now? Okay, I'll figure something else out. I'm a problem solver, I know how to fix this. I have other drills, but are they charged? Oh yes, that is. So basically, I get my drill, I put it in here, there we go. Ah! And normally, I would put it in my vise and straighten it out. However, I saw a life hack where you can just use pliers. And I can use all the life hacks I could get right now. So first, we're gonna use the vise method, and we're gonna see how long this takes. 1827, that's when I'm starting. I go through a second time. Okay, I'm gonna call this one done. 1916. If my math is right, that took roughly two minutes. Now let's try our brand new friend, the life hack method uh, using pliers. We're gonna start 916, 25. Wow, that's getting so straight. Oh my gosh, that was so much faster. And we got it in one minute. That is impressive. Okay, I'm gonna do this with all of them. My attention span hurts. Concentrating consecutively for this long hurts my brain and it's only been one hour. I also decided that uh, they weren't stiff enough so I'm cutting more of this wire too. Just a bunch of it. Cause I really needed to hold up my pumpkin. So now I'm gonna take three of these that are the same length, put all these off to the side for now. And then I'm gonna start weaving them together. Kinda twist them all together at the bottom. So now I just gotta do that all the way up. There we go. I'm trying to make this as hard to bend as possible. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to do it with this wire, but that's not bad. Now I'm gonna take this rope, make this into a point, and then hopefully we can guide it up inside of it without too much problems. There we go, got it right in there. Now I'm just gonna guide it onto it. I'm gonna pull this off and then just wrap it around. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna snip the rope. I should have probably used scissors, but wire cutters will do just fine. I'm gonna open up the end and put all the ropes inside. And now it will never escape. I'm definitely gonna have to make quite a few of these to hold up that pumpkin head. And then I'm gonna weave all these guys together. So now that I made four of them, I'm gonna try and weave all four of them together. I'm just gonna weave these three together and then have the fourth one kind of wrap around. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna twist the whole thing together so that it feels like one just giant mesh together vine. Okay, that's a lot more stiff, not bad. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and add even more to the bottom and then have little offshoots for the vines. Ugh. Just gonna go ahead and add more wire, I guess. A few inches later. Add more wire. 3.28 a.m. Add more rope. 
He's pretty sturdy now, really happy with that. I gave him some tentacle arms. I don't really know what they would be, like plant arms. And then I have a bunch of the wire coming off so that I can add leaves to it. So I've been working on it for about three hours. Now I think I'm gonna go ahead and just cover this entirely in latex. Latex, latex, latex. There's gonna be so much latex on this thing. <laughs> Okay, so this looks like it is uh, very soaked in latex. We're just gonna take it outside and I'm just gonna hang it up. It's a good thing I got this clothesline here. Looking pretty good. Uh, now I just have to let this dry for a little bit. And with seven hours and 32 minutes on the clock, I don't really have a lot of time to waste, so let's get back to this guy. So before I do anything on this pumpkin, I actually went ahead and drew a little outline of how I want this pumpkin head to turn out. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is probably add a bunch of teeth to him. But then I thought, should I really add the teeth first? I kind of want to do everything inside before I work on all the sharp objects, right? The other things I got to do is add like a little tongue. Uh, now I thought of maybe making the tongue more like a vine. Kind of like that, maybe it could get a little bit bigger and then almost like sit on the floor of the mouth. And in a lot of renditions of Audrey 2 I saw, they had like some sort of flower in the middle. Also, the nose is now here again, so we have the stem. And then I have to figure out a way to attach it later, but I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna make the tongue an extension of this so that it all kind of goes together. So the first thing I gotta do is look for something to make a tongue and a flower. Oh, okay, to the attic. Oh, this is so stressful. Oh my gosh, it's so hot up here. Let's see, what can we find to use as a tongue? I just need something vine-like. Oh, a whip. Ooh, that would be fun. But I don't wanna use my fancy whip. Ooh, we have this bungee cord. We have even more rope. This rope is different enough. I guess I could use it as vines. And then this rope is really weird looking. Oh, even better, red rope. Okay, good, good. Rope for the tongue. The teeth? Oh, I already know what I'm gonna make the teeth out of. This air dry clay. Easy peasy, very moldable. I've made teeth with these plenty of times in five minute crafts. The flower, oh. Where am I gonna get a flower? I completely forgot that my living room is part jungle. <laughs> we have absolutely so many flowers to pick from. I'm thinking a red rose, that would be cute. Ooh, or bright purple. Yeah, let's do purple. Ugh. Thank you so much for your sacrifice, living room. I really appreciate it. Okay, I think we got everything we need. Oh no! I did not mean to do that. Well, this will make it easier to work on, I guess. Right now, I'm gonna be working on the clay. I'm just gonna make these long, skinny, sharp teeth. I kind of just wanna put them on his mouth as I do it as well. That way it just forms to his mouth. Beautiful. Now I just gotta do that a bunch more times on this side and a bunch more times on this side. So I just finished the bottom and honestly, it's looking really cool. So I really don't want the top and bottom teeth to hit each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a mark where I wanna add all the teeth. I thought this would be the easiest way to do it. And there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, teeth are finished. Let's see if I messed up. Oh! On this side, we're just about good, but I need to adjust some things on this side. Oops, just need to move it back a little bit. And there we go, all fixed. I mean, that's better. Not bad, okay, looking good. Now I'm gonna put some clay to kind of like reinforce the whole back. Easy peasy. This will be kind of like his gums as well. Now I'm gonna bring it over to my latex table and just cover it completely in latex. Finish latexing in all the teeth and they are looking pretty good. The top uh, kind of came disconnected from the bottom. That's fine, I can fix that, not a big deal. But I also uh, had a problem letting them dry because all the drippies from the latex were going up and this is the top of it so that wouldn't make any sense. Anyway, these look awesome so far. Uh, let's start on the tongue. So I think a rope about this long should do it. I'm just guessing completely, that's what I do. I don't know why I keep doing that. And I'm gonna do the old wire trick. Oh man, I'm almost out of wire. So now, I'm gonna cut this off, and now I'm gonna try and flatten this as much as I can. 
You know what, that worked uh, not great. So I'm gonna grab some medical tape and I'm gonna start laying it out on top of it. I'm gonna do another layer. There we go. Try and flatten it out some more. A couple more layers of that and we should be good. Oh yes, that's a little more tongue-like. So we're gonna take the bottom of this guy and figure out how far I want the tongue to come out. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this and cover it in latex. I'm gonna grab some red. Ooh, that looks like a red tongue. Oh yes, nice and painted. Let's go put it out to dry. A boop bit boop There we go. Oh, and you look about done. Maybe we should start working on you again. So using the C stand, I'm gonna try and hang it up. And now, it's in the perfect position for me to paint it. A boo 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 It's time to paint this bad boy brown. This is looking more like a tree by the second. Now I'm gonna go in and paint the rest of this clay sort of purple to match the inside of the mouth. I actually ran out of this purple, so I'm gonna be using a slightly different purple. Shh, I'm sure no one will notice. Ooh, I already notice. Maybe we'll do a fun blue. Oh, yes. I think I'm down with this blue. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. I think I was supposed to mix it, but uh, it's fine. What if I mix the two together? Am I gonna regret this? I already sort of regret this, but it doesn't look bad. Anyway, so I'm gonna start painting the gums now. Hopefully this turns out okay. I'm trying to avoid getting any paint on the teeth because I want those to stay white. So the farther I get painting with this, the less I'm really liking it. I think I actually want to go with red instead of blue because gums are generally red, not blue. I mean, I guess he is kind of like an alien guy, but honestly, I think it would just look a lot better if it was red. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna repaint it red, but I guess I could start on the top. Okay, we'll try this again with some red. <laughs> Oh, that does not look red. I mean, I guess it kinda does, but does it look like, oh, I could see that being gum red. So I'm gonna go with this color instead. Eventually. Okay guys, so I actually took a little break from working on this for a couple days and uh, they never dried. I think it's cause I put latex on them. So the oxygen couldn't get to them and they couldn't dry. You can tell like where I started peeling them off and it just crumbled off. Ah! So I have to essentially redo the teeth. This is what failure looks like guys. None of them are dry. They just break, look at that. Ugh. I'm gonna have to start this whole thing over again. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish in 10 hours now. Ugh. All this hard work in the trash. So I actually went out and bought even more air dry clay. I'm hoping that this stuff is better. The other stuff I had is like three years old. That's probably part of the reason why it's so crusty. Okay, so uh, I got all of them in, and the more I'm looking at it, the more I kind of just want to make this into a more traditional looking Venus flytrap. Like, they have these really long things on them. Look at that. I think that it's more fitting for the aesthetic, personally. But then Audrey, too, just has little teeth. I also think I want to give him, like, these, like, lips that kind of come out. So I'm going to add a few more wires coming off and then I'm gonna add the clay and make it look like he has more lips. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use my new clay, slightly better clay. I have two different kinds. I have actual clay and I have this magic model clay. This is a lot lighter, so I kinda wanna try and use the foam before I use the clay. Oh my gosh, whoa! Okay, so I'm just gonna roll this up. Dude, my hands are so dirty. I'm so glad I'm painting this afterwards because this is gonna get really gross really quick. So I guess I'm gonna go in and just start making a lip. So now I basically filled the entire head with some tin foil. That way it's still pretty light. And then I'm just gonna cover the entire thing in air dry foam. Just a real thin layer. Just put it straight over there. That way the roof of his mouth isn't like all the way concaved into his head. 
Okay, so we got the two tops reclayed together. Now I have to wait for these to dry. I'm not gonna count that as me working on it, by the way. This says it's gonna take a day, but I'm hoping it doesn't. And then I'm gonna start painting them and latexing them and doing all sorts of fun stuff. But until then, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the leaves. So I bought this really fun pot to put our Tori 2 in. It's almost like a cauldron thing. I don't know, I saw it at Lowe's and I really liked it. So I decided I'm gonna put our Tori 2 in here. But one problem, our stem, if I were to put it to the bottom, it would only be this tall. And that's cool, I guess, but I want it to be ever so slightly taller. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this piece of wood, cut it down, drill a hole in the piece of wood to place it into. That way it's just ever so slightly taller. So we want it to be about that tall. Right around here ought to do it. Perfect. Okay, that's not bad, but will it hold a pumpkin as well? It feels kind of not super stable. I'm gonna go just a little bit deeper. There we go, that's better. Now we're gonna put the lime in the coconut. Yeah, I think that's uh, that definitely made it a little taller, which was in fact our goal. So now I'm gonna go ahead and mix some concrete. So it says I need five to one ratio of water to cement. I'll just do the whole thing. Add a little bit of water. I'm hoping that's about right. This is looking pretty mixed, and according to the bottle, this should only take about an hour to dry. In retrospect, I could have almost just mixed it inside of this thing. I'm gonna take this out just to kind of help it not tip over. And while this dries, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on some other stuff. So I was gonna try and make custom leaves for this, but my time is kind of running low, and I still have to repaint this entire head. So I went up to the attic, and I managed to find this bag of miscellaneous flowers. I think I might be able to find some leaves that look like pumpkin leaves in here. Ooh, this looks like a pumpkin leaf. Now I just gotta find a bunch more. So I managed to find all of these and I got some of these tiny pumpkins at Michael's. They were kind of expensive just for a little vine. This was $13? Are you joking? I'm gonna start putting some foliage on this little tree and just start putting it on just like that. See, there we go. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and just put one of these little pumpkins at the end of each one. Okay, this is looking a lot more plant-like. I'm really liking this a lot, actually. It really just needed leaves and tiny pumpkins. If I have enough time, I'm gonna paint the tiny pumpkins uh, nice and orange, but if not, you know, white looks fine. And with about two hours left on the clock, I might just be able to finish it in time. Okay, I'm gonna try and attempt to paint this. It's still kind of soft, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so it's been about an hour. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and shove my plant right in there. Wow, yeah, that's stable. And I can still pull it out if I really need to. I just have to figure out how I wanna attach the pumpkin right here. I wonder how I'm gonna do it. While I think about it, I'm gonna start painting the underside of this orange because there really is no time to waste. So I went in and I started adding leaves to the top. That way I can put the pumpkin right on top of it. Now I have to let it sit here and dry for about 24 hours until I can really do anything. <laughs> so I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. So it's the next day. Uh, this is kind of dry. It definitely still feels very squishy and it feels like it still needs to dry a little bit longer. But I was just messing around and I made an awful discovery. So I actually started taking all these leaves off and that's because when I put the pumpkin on, it doesn't hold it. It's not strong enough. Ah! And that's only the top part. It's supposed to hold both parts. This is gonna be so heavy. So now I have to basically reinforce this. What I think I'm gonna do is go in and insert some of this rebar. This rebar is so strong and it's so hard to bend. But the only downside is I have to basically put a bunch of rope on it and start painting it to look the exact same. And I only have an hour and 43 minutes left. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish in time. My workspace is so dirty and I need to clean it up. I don't even have time for this. So now I'm gonna attempt to bend this rebar. So now I can just put the pumpkin on this guy. Okay, is it gonna work? Yeah, not bad. 
So this actually looks really good in my opinion, but I think what I'm gonna have to end up doing is adding another piece of rebar on the side of this and have it hold the bottom. It's coming together. It really is. But I don't have a lot of time left. Okay, so I got my second piece of rebar installed. I'm just gonna put it together. Yeah, not bad. I kind of wish his mouth was a little bit more open, but I think so far, it's looking really good. I had a few things break along the way, like inside of his mouth. It's kind of broken from the rebar now. I got little dinks and dents, so I'm gonna have to repaint a lot of this, and I still have to repaint all these vines. And I also still need to insert his tongue. I don't even know how I'm gonna figure that out. It's looking pretty good though, but I still have a lot of work left on it. So the next thing I did was I grabbed my hot glue gun and I started putting some some texture on the lips, kind of like that. So now it looks like there's a bunch of vines coming out, or like, I don't know, like the mouth has a lot more texture now. And I also started covering it in some latex because that's one of the other things I was gonna start doing. Also give it kind of like a, a slimy texture and also to finish it off, that way the paint stays really nice. So I only have about an hour left. I definitely don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this in time, which makes me kind of sad. So I guess I'm gonna be spending over 10 hours on this project, this one pumpkin, which I guess is fine, but dang, I really thought I could get it done in 10 hours, so that's kind of a bummer. So I ended up covering everything so far, uh, the mouth and latex. I put a bunch of paper towels in here to kind of cover up the hole that I just busted open. I got the top part all finished, also covered in latex. It's looking pretty good. I think it's gonna look a lot better when it's dry. I still have to somehow figure out this back part right here. So I think I'm gonna have to get some of this rope paint it brown, cover this whole thing up as much as I can, and then uh, just kind of hot glue it to this so that it looks like a vine is coming out of it. At least that's my plan. With about 16 minutes left, I started painting the inside of his mouth. The paint dried really fast, but the vines, really happy with that. And with only 24 seconds left, I still have so much left to do on this. I definitely am going over on my time limit. Ah! Time's up. Well, I'll give myself another five hours. Just kidding. Okay, I got three hours. Three more hours to work on this. Woo! Go me! 14 hours. I also painted the inside of his mouth blue, and I think it looks really cool. So I came up with this last minute idea where I basically paint these leaves. I'm just gonna put them all over my floor because I don't really have enough time to do them in batches big enough for my table. The intern's gonna love me after this. But then I wanna do it with all these leaves too. Oh, that's gonna look so cool. I have to take out the tiny pumpkins. <gasps> I can still paint the tiny pumpkins. Okay, so I added a little bit of pink on all the leaves. I thought it would look cool. I have mixed feelings about it. It only took me, oh my gosh, 20 minutes. Now I'm going in with my tiny hot glue gun and I actually have glow in the dark hot glue that I'm just putting in all the little holes. It looks good. It's like a slime kind of going through him. And then when you turn off the lights, it's gonna glow, be real fun. So now I have to re-add all the leaves. And there she is, nice and covered in leaves. I'm still waiting for all the paint inside of her mouth to dry, but I'm really liking how the leaves are turning out. Some of them are falling off uh, because I have her on this rotating platform. <laughs> I'm probably gonna stop that for a sec. It's making me dizzy. And since I gave myself more time, I decided I am going to paint my little pumpkins. So while I'm waiting for these to dry, I decided I'm gonna start working on the flower with the tongue in the middle of his mouth. And I started taking apart flowers and stacking them on top of each other. So now I got a sunflower in the middle, a blue flower, and then a pink flower. And I'm just gonna keep stacking it until I get a really fat flower. I basically took off the stem and now I'm just stacking all the little petals from the other ones on top of it, just like that. It's like six different flowers in one. So I grabbed my tongue that I made earlier and I left a little wire kind of hanging out like this. And this is where I'm gonna put the flower. Now I'm just gonna put a bunch of leaves on it, just like that. Some foliage, just to give it a little bit of depth. I'm gonna grab the flower that we made and just put it right on there. But now it's just sitting on his tongue. Perfect. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna hot glue it in. While I'm at it, I decided to add some more uh, glow-in-the-dark hot glue to his tongue. 
That way, it looks like he just has all this glow-in-the-dark spit. More latex. More latex on everything. Everything needs more latex. But look how good it looks. Wow. Guys, I put on the tiny pumpkins, and I have to say, this is coming together so good. I am so happy with this so far. Oh my gosh, look at all, what? So now I'm just waiting for the tongue to dry and inside the mouth, and then I'm gonna put the tongue inside the mouth, and then it should be just about completed. Okay guys, are you ready for the magic moment where everything comes together? And it is complete! Look how good that turned out, oh. My gosh, I am so happy with this. Absolutely amazing. It's like I took a moment and I just froze a perfect encapsulating moment. It's like it's in slow-mo. Woo! Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <gasps> There's one other thing I have to do, and that is put some straw inside the pot. It's just like a pumpkin patch, you see? They have straw and hay at, uh, pumpkin patches. So now, that's what I'm gonna put in here, I guess. There we go. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Dude, that fits it perfectly. I'm also just gonna add a little bit of the Spanish moss uh, to almost accent it a little bit. Just in really inconspicuous places, you see? Just like that. Don't mind me, just putting on some moss. And with my 15 plus hours of work on this thing, Here's how it turned out. Okay guys, so after 15 hours of work and making a huge mess in my studio, it's finally complete. Look. How beautiful, uh, fantastic, absolutely super happy with this. So just to review, I spent about one minute carving this pumpkin. I spent about one hour carving this pumpkin and overall about 15 hours carving this one. Oh, Tori Dabransky. Yes? Hey, I got you something. What? Do you want to come see it? It's in the craft corner. What did you get me? It's a surprise, come on, let's go. Let's go, come on. Okay, let's go. Okay, Tori Dabransky. Behind this wall is something I spent over 15 hours on. Are you ready to see it? In a long time, I'm ready. So here's the blueprints of what I was trying to make, okay? Hey, okay, This is cute. Tori too, yeah? So I'm just trying to block it. That's cute though. I like it. Are you ready to see the final product? Yes, yes. Come here, come here. Look, here it is. Oh my God, it even spins. Yeah, I put it on a spinning platform. That's so cute, you did such a good job. Look at him go! Oh my god, look at him! I like it, Robbie. Yeah. Very fun. I had to start over twice because oh some things got messed up. Oh no. Why is there a bunch of pink on it? It's just the, the, the leaves. I put pink on the leaves because okay. it's it's a it's a rainforest plant. I, I just thought it would make it look uh look cool. You did a good job, are these movable? Yeah, you can you can, can move them. them. You can make them say hello. I had him holding a selfie stick earlier. You did. I did. He had a selfie stick and it was taking a photo with the GoPro. It was really cute. That's cute. I like it. You did a good job. Good pumpkin. And it's going to last forever because it's a real pumpkin. Mm. You don't think it's going to last forever? It's not a real pumpkin. Oh, just kidding. And it's going to last forever because it's a fake pumpkin. It's very cute. Very scary. I'm glad you like it. Take it out of here. Take it to your room. What? I want to lift it up by myself. I am going to fall and get damaged and break. Okay, I'll help you move it. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give a big ol' thumbs up. We'll submit this fight right down there. If you want to check out the video I made last year where I made a super spooky pumpkin, you can check it out right here. Okay guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. All right, I think, okay, bye. Ah! of crazy TikTok inventions. But then one thing led to another, to another, and now I own seven power
power wheels. So I did what any responsible adult would do and put together a race for my friends. And I made them all wear superhero costumes. Guess which one's me? It could be any of them. The rules are simple. The first person to go all the way around the track wins. And I put weapons in the mystery boxes to help you slow people down. Are you guys ready to race? Vroom vroom. for this little game is to hit them as hard as I can with my car as many times as possible. To be honest, I'm not really gonna aim for the balloon. I'm just gonna try to hit them, just ram right my car into them. Peace out, back gang. Three, two, one, go! Oh, that counts though. Okay. Yeah. That's just faulty placement. That's not even my fault. <laughs> so Superman is it for this one because he won the last round. So I just have to hit people with this. Three, two, one, go!
Oh, oh God, I don't even want to go anymore. It looks like I am the loser of this round. Just in time, all of our carts basically broke. <laughs> I had fun, how about you guys? That was pretty intense. We did it. My legs hurt so bad. The trash wagon wins. Robbie found this in the trash. And it took me all the way, baby. That was the first one. <laughs> so who technically won this one? Everyone I don't know. Everyone but you. Everyone, Everyone but me? <laughs> what? Okay, so I guess I, I'm negative a point. So I'm very last because I didn't win any competitions. So it looks like I'm the loser. So in first place, we have Elsa. What? In Wait. second place. No, I should be first too. I won two games too. You won two games? Yeah, you won one game. Battle and this. <laughs> I feel like Trevor's last round shouldn't count because his, what happened to yours? I did, I have no clue. I, I even, I even went and grabbed a new battery. I think they just completely burned out. Like we completely burned out the yeah, engine. No, like, oh, now it's going? No, I'm, <laughs> Mine stopped going too. You know what? It's, because I'm Superman, I will let Elsa have it because she's a princess. Oh, that's, oh, that's nice. That's, that's, that's so sweet. That's really nice. Thank you. Batman, you did uh, great. You got third place. Uh, I didn't really like how you slammed straight into me, but you did a great job driving nonetheless. I, I'm, I have my driver's license. Batman's really good at driving. Can we find out who's underneath the mask? No, I'm back. No, I'm Batman. So tell us who's no, under there. Batman. Come back. We'll never know who that is. Mysterious no. figure. It really. Uh, we don't oh, Spider -Man. You're Spider Man? Wait! Oh my gosh, I'm Spider Man! Oh my gosh, I'm Spider Man! Okay, guys, well, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. It looks something like this. You can find it right down there. I had a bunch of fun uh, doing this video and doing these kinds of videos. And if you want us to do more, leave a comment down below and tell us we want more and we might just do even more fun videos. Woo! Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I'm Renetti. Okay, bye. Ah! Ho, ho, ho. Have you been a crafty boy this year, Robbie? Okay guys, so for this next one, we're gonna need to make some hard boiled eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you every life hack that I've learned to boil eggs. Let's do this. So step one guys, you wanna make sure you got a solid pot. And life hack number one guys is uh, pre-boiled water in a kettle. There we go. Oh God, oh God, oh God. That's not good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean this up a little bit and we'll be right back. A few minutes later. Okay, we avoided that disaster. Uh, so now that you have your boiling water, you're gonna add just a little bit of vinegar. This helps the eggshells fall off a little bit easier. Then we carefully add our eggs. Then you go ahead and grab an egg timer and put it on for about seven minutes. You can also use one of these egg timers. They're pretty fun. It tells you when your eggs are soft, medium, and hard boiled. Absolutely recommend another life hack for you. Just put it right in there. It'll make the other eggs feel right at home. Okay, looks like our eggs are done. Come on, stop! Much better. Life hack number three, guys. Just grab yourself a big old bowl of ice water and just put your eggs right in there as soon as they're done. This helps the eggs solidify inside the shell. Looks good, now let's get cracking. As you can see, this turned out absolutely perfect. Uh, if you turn it a little bit, just use all these life hacks and you too could have the perfect hard boiled egg. You're welcome. Okay, so now that we have our perfectly hard boiled eggs, we're gonna go ahead and put those right in there. Just plop them right into your pan. These things are super hardy and they never break, so you definitely don't have to be careful. Then we're gonna add some water, a little bit of soy sauce, a lot of soy sauce in this case, a little bit of sugar, boobity boop. That's a lot of sugar. I'm sure it's fine. Five Minute Crafts didn't say how much to put, so I'm sure as long as you have the ingredients in there, everything will be fine. It smells fantastic. I think the eggs might have to be completely covered, so I'm gonna add a little bit more water. And with that, I'm also gonna add some more of our ingredients. Oh yes, a nice dark brew, healthy brew. Look at that. I'm gonna let these sit in here for about 10 minutes and occasionally stir. They didn't tell us how long to leave them in, so 
I'm just winging this whole thing. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, I let this simmer for a little bit, so now I'm just gonna take the eggs and put it in a little container. It looks like they already started to change color. But I think I'm gonna keep them marinating because they're not quite as dark as they were in the video. So I'm gonna let them sit in this juice overnight and see if that helps it. Add a little more soy sauce, you know? Go ahead and seal that up and uh, we'll see how it turns out tomorrow. Uh. Okay, three days later, guys, we have our eggs and we're just gonna open this bad boy up. Oh, instant reek of eggs. The camera smelled it, now it's having a hard time focusing. Look at that. Even the camera doesn't like that smell. So I'm gonna go ahead and fish one of these bad boys out. Wow, what a beautiful looking ramen egg. I'm pretty sure that's what we made. Wow. I definitely think letting it sit in its own juices for a couple days was definitely the move. But let's see how it looks on the inside. I'm really curious to see how deep the color goes. Dang, almost all the way through. Okay. Let's try it. It's definitely not as good as the ramen restaurant I go to, but it's not bad. I give this one like a six out of 10. I'd probably make this as a snack, honestly. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one works. Intern, try this. Eat up little intern. Eggs are good for your little interns. That's pretty good. I'm not kidding you right now, man. This is a good egg. I think it's good with ramen noodles. He likes it. <laughs> Okay guys, so first things first, we're gonna wanna prepare our ingredients. So, they didn't do this in the video, but we're gonna have to cook some pasta. A boobity boo. Or if you're like me, you can get yourself a pasta egg. Uh, I think these are way more fresh. You can tell the difference between a normal egg and a pasta egg with the red dot, see? Um, regular egg. Mamma mia. Pasta egg, fresh pasta straight from the egg. Make sure not to get them confused. I've done that multiple times. Always look for the little red dot. And we're also gonna need some pasta sauce, but I don't have any pasta sauce, so I'm just gonna use the Chef Boyardee ravioli and just strain all the raviolis out. Just strain all the juice out of there. You don't want those dumb raviolis. We're just looking for the juice. Oh, yes. Get all that sauce out. And then when you're done, just throw this bad boy in the sink with all the other dirty dishes. Your mom is absolutely gonna love you. Remember guys, the egg yolks are in the one with the orange dot and the egg whites are in the ones with the blue dot, just for future reference. Then we go ahead and heat up our pan. And they didn't say to do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and butter it up a little bit. Grab our egg noodles and make them into a little round nest, just like in the video. This feels dangerous, not gonna lie. Looks good. Then we grab our pre-separated egg yolks. I only broke one, it's okay, that's why I made three of them. Then we grab our pasta sauce and just lightly brush it all over our noodles, just very lightly. This is some gourmet shit right here, Jimmy. Sweet peppers. Ah! Then we add our peppers. I guess we just kinda dump it all in there. Then we grab our pre-separated egg white and just, go oh no, I got it everywhere! It's okay, I have more of these. They come in packs of 12, apparently. Just like normal eggs. Wow, that looks absolutely appetizing, absolutely delicious. I'm just gonna go ahead and let this sit for a little bit. Life hack, if your top doesn't fit, you just put a spatula right there, and then you just do a balancing act, and boom. Then you go ahead and use your other spatula to attempt to flip this thing. Do we even flip this thing? I feel like you're not supposed to actually even flip it. I'm just gonna let this play out. Hopefully this cooks correctly. They didn't really give any instructions after this. We don't even see like the final result really. So I'm just praying for the best. Okay, they look just about done. Honestly, they look pretty delicious. I can't wait to try them. Oh, mmm, yummy. I love how it all sticks together. <laughs> It's not bad. I'll try the egg. I don't think I like that. Guys, I think we should get a second opinion on this. Oh, hidden camera guy! Uh oh. I need you to try this all new recipe from Five Minute Crafts. Isn't it just super delicious looking? Revolutionary snack by Five Minute Crafts. It's egg and spaghetti. Revolutionary is a, a compliment. Let me know how the sauce is. I made it myself. Oh, you made it? Okay. <laughs> Spaghetti sauce strained straight from Chef Boy or D Ravioli. Is it good? That's a. Um... Guys, 
what the hidden camera guy meant to say is I think that this one absolutely works. This is edible food, I suppose. But what would you rate it, hidden camera guy? I mean, it's edible, but I'd rate it like a two and a half. What? I'd give this a solid six. I would eat this on a Sunday meal. <laughs> <laughs> On the holy day, you're gonna disgrace it. <laughs> well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. <laughs> Okay, now that we have our perfect little soft boiled egg, we're gonna take our syringe, carefully insert it into the egg, and theoretically, all the yolk should just get sucked out. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, it's coming out! Come on. This might take a little while. We'll try this again. Honestly, that's gonna take forever if I try this. Uh, plus, I think I might have overcooked the egg. It's not quite liquid. Yeah, I think the syringe just isn't cutting it. So, I'm gonna break out the egg sucker 5000. We're gonna go ahead and try it with an all new egg. This one's a little bit messed up, but you know what? Here we go. Plunge that bad boy in there, and I'm gonna carefully suck everything out. <laughs> This isn't working. Nope. This is very impractical, guys. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this syringe thing with the salsa doesn't work. But I will try it with the salsa. You know, I bought it and I might as well try it. Even though it's not inside the egg, I'm sure it's the same concept. Mmm. Oh yes. Salsa on eggs. Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so the first things we're gonna need is some salt and some sugar. Boop and boop. Go ahead and mix that together. Put this off to the side for a second. And then we grab our egg yolk. Just go ahead and do it like this. And that is how you get egg yolk. Go ahead and plop it into our concoction. And then I think they just completely buried it in the salt and sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge for a few days and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Three days later. Okay, so it's been about three days in the salt and sugar and it's looking mummified. I don't know how to feel about this. Uh, it's still literally egg um, and salt and it might be like completely solid, but there's a chance it still might be raw egg inside, which I'm hoping it's not. Here's our bowl. Get ourselves some deluxe vanilla bean artisan ice cream. Get a good scoop of that. Guys, I used to work at Dairy Queen, so I know ice cream, okay? I think I only need two solid scoops to know if this is good or not. Then we're gonna grab our fancy cheese grater and start grating this egg. Mmm, egg sprinkles. I love egg sprinkles on my vanilla ice cream. Oh, this feels illegal. Okay, it's time to try this. Ooh, baby. Just pretend it's like lemon sprinkles. It's actually not too bad. I would rate this probably a seven out of 10. And I guess we're gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. We're gonna get the hidden camera guy to try this one. Okay, hidden camera guy, let me know how it tastes. Uh, bombs away. How is it, Trev? Is it good? How good is it? It's actually not bad. <laughs> is it good? Is it good, Trev? How good is it? It's really good! Tell us how good is it! It's good! It's good! It's good! Would you like to try it? Yeah, sure. Just a little bit of this. How is it? Is it good, intern? Do you like it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? I do like yeah. it. Yeah, it's all good! Is it good enough to try a whole bite of it? Sure. Dude, that's so sugary and salty. There's no way it's good. Is it good? No. <laughs> uh, that's gross. Here, try it. I'm okay. I'm gonna get back to work. Okay, yeah. thanks guys. I like, thanks for your opinion. It's pretty good. Okay, first things first, we're gonna prepare some ingredients. Coming in with the mini sweet bell peppers. And I just got this chopper thing I wanna try out. I'm pretty sure you just put the ingredients in this little cup, then you put this on it, and then you start chopping. Ah! Let's see how it turned out. Oh, wow, it's so finely chopped. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I think I messed up. <sighs> calm, calm, calm. Oh, that is definitely way better. Then we're just gonna get our sausage. That wiener just slipped right out of there. That was intense, did you see that? So we're gonna go ahead and slit it right down the middle. Hello, I'm Mr. Sausage Man, how's it going? 
break out our stove, grab our pan, get that nice and hot. Now we just insert a toothpick into our sausage. Doesn't that sound pleasant? I love just shoving a good toothpick in my sausage. That's my favorite activity. I think I'm gonna have to break the toothpick, otherwise I'm gonna rip this sausage. Okay, it looks good. So we just place that very gently. Add some of our peppers. Oh yes, you can hear those peppers just frying. It sounds so delicious. Then we go and insert our egg. Oh, that fit in there like a charm. I'm gonna go ahead and try one more just for good luck. Maybe it'll fit in that time. Ah! I think I was supposed to use a bigger hot dog for this. Get in there. Come on. No! Honestly, guys, you know what they say? Third time's a charm. Get in there. Come on. Ah! It's fine. It's fine. Um... Get out of here, eggshells. Oh, maybe I, if I split it open, there you go. And just put that egg right in there. Just scoop it up, put it right inside that hot dog. This is looking really good. This is the most appetizing hot dog I've ever seen. Then we grab our basil, just get a real big chunk of it and just shove it right in there. I can't wait for this to be fully cooked. And just for good luck, I'm gonna add some Monterey Jack cheese. I don't know what luck it actually is giving me. I heard that cheese is actually not great for you. I'm gonna throw a top right on there and I think that'll help it cook a little bit. Five minutes later. Oh, that looks like it is perfectly done. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and use a knife and cut it out of the egg. We don't want all this gross egg that's not inside the hot dog. That egg was all an accident. This egg means absolutely nothing to me. I'm sorry, egg. It's not personal. I'm just here to take my hot dog. My glizzy. Let's give it a taste. Oh yes, the gliz egg. Grab ourselves a fork and cut a little slice off. Ooh, yes. Oh, that's tender. This knife just cuts straight through this hot dog. It's like the egg makes it way more tender or something. Look at that ooze. I'm gonna try uh, this piece with the parsley on it. It looks absolutely fantastic. <laughs> That was way too much basil. Um, I just got a mouthful of basil. I'll try the rest of it. Maybe it was just a little too strong. There we go. Ooh, we got some of the pepper side. Mmm, now that's good. Overall, guys, I would give this glazeg um, a solid seven out of 10. It works! So the first thing we're gonna need is some eggs. Then we get our egg cracker and try and just crack this bad boy. Oh! This is way harder than I thought. <gasps> success! Uh, look at that. Now that is what I call success. Just go ahead and empty out our egg. They didn't really say to clean it. Uh, they didn't actually say to empty out your egg at all. Um, this could probably be just like a full egg now that I'm thinking about it. I went ahead and found a little shot glass for me to put it in. It fits so perfectly. But I'm gonna put this off to the side. So I'm just gonna use some frozen fruit for this. Okay, looking good. There's only one problem though. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put this fruit inside of this egg. So I guess I'm gonna have to cut it up a little bit. Let's play some Fruit Ninja. Let's do this. I gotta cut all the fruit. Ah! Oh my gosh. Ugh. Guys, I really hope this joke isn't outdated. Ah! Oh gosh, I think I got one. Perfect, guys. Wait, there was one flaw with this logic. Now we have fruit everywhere. I guess I'll do it the old fashioned way then. Let's see if we can fit it inside of our egg now. Oh, we can! It fits perfectly. If you guys have never made gelatin before, it's pretty simple. You only really need four things. You need the gelatin, a mixing bowl, and also a comically large whisk. I mean, I guess you can use a normal whisk if you want, but uh, this is actually the only whisk I have left. And also some nice hot boiling water. So we get our gelatin, put it in there, add our hot water. Mix, mix, mix! Now be really careful and we're just gonna pour it right into our egg. A smarter person would use a funnel. Okay, now we just put that in the fridge. Be real careful. Oh yes, join your egg family. Reunited once again. And apparently there's another weird version of this, so I'm gonna make that one as well. gelatin and grab a little of this broth too. Oh no. Put some of that in there. 
Oh gosh. Comically large whisk. Carefully put it in there. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> then we grab some leftover Thanksgiving ham and just start shoving that bad boy in there. This is gonna be a very meaty egg. A very meaty gelatiny egg. Then I'm gonna get a little bit of parsley, put that in there. And I didn't have anything that was just corn, but I do have these mixed vegetables. So what I guess I'm gonna do is uh, just kind of sift through it and look for just specifically the corn. Okay, it looks good. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this in my fridge and uh, wait a couple hours. I'll see you soon. The next day. Okay guys, it's been about a day. Now it's time to try and crack these bad boys open. I'll start with the chicken broth one. Let's see how well this actually works. I feel like it's just gonna be like a gross chicken clump mass. Ew, it's already so gross. Gross, 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 gross. Oh, why is that? Oh, the skin. Okay, I hope it all peels off nice and clean. If someone served this to me, I would just say no. <laughs> would you guys try this? Let me know down in the comments down below. Well guys, doesn't that look absolutely appetizing? Ugh. You just want to eat that right up. Guys, this looks absolutely disgusting actually, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna stay true to the craft. Are you ready? That is so gross! Why would you do this? Negative 12 out of 10. I wouldn't recommend this. Don't ever do this, please. I don't like the consistency. I don't like the taste. I don't like anything about this. This whole experience was awful. This one absolutely works, but would not recommend. My hands smell like all sorts of weird ingredients now. Thank you so much, Five Minute Crafts. So now I have to carefully break the fruit one. Ooh, this one's coming apart a little easier. I feel like it's gonna be way more delicate though. Yeah, it's definitely way more squishy. There isn't any like solid objects in there. Oh, guys. Oh, that's not coming out clean. That is not gonna come out clean. Nope. nope. I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. I mean, it's kind of working. I think if I had more practice, maybe added more gelatin into this or something. I don't know what I did wrong. Anyway, bottoms up guys. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> It's a little better. I don't like it either. Slightly better. This one only gets a negative two. Nope. Wouldn't recommend. Don't do that in public or in private, but I'm gonna have to say that it kind of works. I'm gonna go burn my clothes. Okay guys, so the first step is to separate our egg whites. This wasn't mentioned to do in the craft, but uh, they had separated egg yolks and egg whites. So, you know, I'm just taking the initiative. Put our big blue pan on, get a little bit of butter. Ew, there's a hair in there. It's my hair, so it's fine. I just want to lubricate up the pan. While that's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and scramble this bad boy because I completely forgot to do it earlier. Oops. So now we get our bowl and just place it right in there. I don't know how I'm gonna grab that. Uh, I didn't think this part through, but I'm sure everything will be fine. Then we grab our egg whites. Just careful. Oh my god, that's so many egg whites. I feel like I was supposed to beat the egg whites too. Oh my goodness. What have I done? Maybe if I just spread the egg whites around a little bit, it'll be fine. Yeah, this looks like it's turning out good. It's turning out great actually. Go ahead and let that cook for a little bit. I hope it doesn't break my bowl, and I still have to figure out how I'm gonna lift this up. <laughs> I'm gonna need like finger strength of steel. Okay, that looks like it's cooked. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut it out with a knife very carefully. Oh no, I gotta be very careful and pick this up. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. Okay, I did it. Mission successful. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab a cup and then fill in this with egg yolk. Oh yes, this looks great. We have a little crescent moon. You know what? I'm taking the moon out. Get out of here, moon. Okay, I'm gonna try and pull this out. And I succeeded, look at that. Th that. That was the cleanest one. I mean, I've had practice, that was my second time. Oh, look at that. A perfect circle on the inside. It looks like a blazing sun. I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt and pepper. Am I supposed to 
flip this. I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on and maybe that'll help it cook all the way through because I don't think I'm gonna be able to actually flip this. Later. Okay, this is looking real good. And now it's time to try and flip it onto our plate. I don't think it's actually gonna fit on the plate uh, or it's just gonna be real close. But you ready? I'm actually just gonna put the plate like that. And a one, a two, and do you think we did it? Three, two, one. <gasps> It definitely turned out better on the bottom. Uh, it looks cleaner for sure. Honestly, it looks like a weird egg tortilla thing. I bet if we added some cheese, this would be absolutely lovely. Dude, that looks actually really good. What a fancy omelet. This is gonna be the fanciest omelet I've ever eaten, probably. More salt and pepper for taste. Flip that in there. Boom. Okay, let's try this bad boy out. Oh yes, this looks truly appetizing. It's kind of weird that it's like egg whites and yolk separated because like they do have different consistencies, you know? They're not like the same. <laughs> Honestly, it's not bad. It does kind of just taste like egg and cheese. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works, guys. Make yourselves an egg target today. I guarantee you'll love it. So first things first, we get some oil and put it in a pot. Dang, this takes a lot of peanut oil. I can feel my skin breaking out already. Then we wait for the oil to heat up. A few inches later. Okay guys, so we're at about 350. And now it's time for us to put in our egg. I'm really nervous to deep fry things because it's scary, so I put on my goggles. Wish me luck, here we go. Ah, okay, here we go. Just gotta get all the egg white all in one place. Oh my God, it's sticking to the spoon. Guys, this is so scary. I think it's done. I deep fried the egg. I messed up the yolk though. Wow, I did it. I'm gonna give it one more go for old time's sake. Oh wow, look at this stuff. Dude, that looks so weird. Look at that. I think I'm gonna get the hang of this real quick. The second time, just be real careful. I think I might have broke it when I plopped it in. So just make a vortex with the egg whites. This is very scary. And I think I've done it. I made the perfect fried egg white. Look at that, guys. I am truly a master chef. This is novice versus pro. I am now a pro. I'm really excited to see how this bad boy tastes. Woo! Okay, before I try this, I'm actually gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper. So far, not bad. It kind of looks like a pan fried egg, but more crispy on the outside. Ooh, that looks nice. But how does it taste? It's not bad. It tastes kind of like nothing almost. I think it needs more salt. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Six out of 10. I feel like it was way too much effort for not a lot of return. That whole situation just was very dangerous, okay? <laughs> Okay guys, so for this one, we're just gonna need a little bit of flour. I don't know how that got in there. Oops. Then grab our egg yolk. Oh, I messed up. I broke it. How many times could I mess this up, really? Okay, we have a perfect egg yolk. Now we just toss it in our flour, cover that up a bit. And it didn't say how long to leave it like this, but I'm gonna guess uh, a day or two. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge and we'll see how this turns out. Okay guys, so it spent about three days in the flour. Um, <laughs> it is so solid. Oh my gosh. You can kind of see the egg yolk underneath. I don't wanna pull too much off, but oh! I just cracked it open. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try this before it starts dripping out. That's so, ew. Okay, this is gonna be weird. Let's try it. Ooh, okay. I'm not the biggest fan of raw egg, um, and there does appear to be some raw egg in there. So this is gonna be really interesting for me. Okay, ready? <laughs> I would rate this um 
A zero out of 10, this is awful. It's like cold, wet, dry yolk. This is what it looks like on the inside. Oh, it's like crunchy on the outside, but it's so gooey on the inside. I'm sure this is good for somebody, but not me. This is not appetizing at all. This is egg yolks. Ugh. It's like everything about yolk, but way worse. It's all the worst characteristics of yolk, just all in one. Hey, hidden camera guy, you wanna try this? I'm okay. You should try this. Uh, it's the best. It's the newest of five minute crafts. It looks like an orange, honestly. This took three days to make. I was there making it with you. Just try it. I'm okay. Okay. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works, but I would not nope. recommend it. <laughs> Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is a tortilla. Where the heck am I gonna get a tortilla? Oh my god. Perfect. So now we grab our stove. I don't have a permanent stove in the craft corner yet. Uh, this is gonna have to do. This is a camping stove I got from Walmart. So now that we have our tortilla, don't need that anymore. We go ahead and grab our knife, make a little slit, just like that. Okay, then we grab our cup, and then we start cutting away. I think this cup might be a little bit too big. <laughs> That'll be a good snack for Ben for later. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab some leftover ham from Thanksgiving. Slice that up really quick. Then we grab some cheese, and I think we were supposed to have shredded, but I'll just shred it up myself. It's okay. <laughs> I forgot to buy the shredded cheese. Just put that on there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Light our stove. Oh yes, the power of the stove. This pan is way too big for this stove. Go ahead and add our butter. I think I might've used a little bit too much, but you know what, it was for the craft. Then I'm just gonna full send this and just put it right in there. Oh, that looks so good. And then we grab our egg and just break it right into the little egg spot. Oh, that looks absolutely delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and take this time to salt and pepper it up. It wasn't in the craft, but you know what? I'm just putting my own little spin on things, you know? Just really spicing it up with salt and pepper. <laughs> the most complicated spices in the world. Okay, then we go ahead and start flipping it in. We start with the cheese side, and then we go with the meaty side. We just flip it right in there. Oh wow, I did it perfectly. I definitely did not break the yolk at all. I definitely didn't mess up and I don't regret a single thing I've done. Ah! I'm getting ham everywhere. Okay, this looks about done. It actually looks pretty good. I mean, you can only go so wrong with egg and tortilla and cheese, all ingredients I like. Oh, also ham. Ham is a great ingredient as well. <laughs> what little ham is left in it? Anyway, I'm gonna try this bad boy. It looks pretty good. <laughs> but how does it taste? I should have grabbed a fork. <laughs> I am 100% together. Honestly, that is really not bad. Like you can't really go wrong with all the ingredients that went into it. Mm. Now let's try this perfectly cooked egg. Mm. Oh, 10 out of 10. Honestly, five minute crafts, you guys are onto something. I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Okay guys, this time we're using an electric stove. Screw gas stoves, we're in the future. Electric, electricity. Thank you so much, Thomas Edison for inventing like, wait, that was Benjamin Franklin, just kidding. Um, anyway, we're just gonna grab some butter, smack that in there, really just lube up our pan. Then we grab our weird uh, strainer spatula thing, crack an egg into that bad boy, and just let all the egg whites kinda come out. It's not coming out! It's not coming out! I don't know how they did that, but the egg whites are not coming out of the spatula thing. What am I doing wrong? Someone please explain this. I don't think it's that easy. I think you have to like, uh, maybe add like, there's a little bit more care that goes into this, I'm guessing. You can't just add a bunch of egg whites. How did they get it to just spread like that? I don't think this is possible, guys. They definitely had those egg whites prepared. They definitely didn't just put it in there. They cut that part out. I feel lied to. This is a fake life 
fat guys. I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Oh craft mystery, oh craft mystery, oh how the glue gun burns me. Oh craft mystery, oh craft mystery, it's craft this time with Robbie. So the first thing we're gonna need is a water bottle. Then we need a knife. Let's break out our blowtorch. Get it real hot. A boo -ba -doo -boo. Actually, I think I need my oven mitts for this. Okay, back at it with oven mitts. Safety first. Oh yes, nice and hot. Now we're gonna slice straight through our water bottle. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is definitely gonna take a while. It did not get very far at all. Kinda scary. It's literally smoking, you see that? Round two. Oh my gosh. I got it way hotter that time. Oh my. That is nuts. It's crazy how much better that's working. Gonna be real careful here. There we go. Drop knife. I've done it. Oh no, it melted back together. Oh, that's hot. We are complete. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and get our towel and get our toothbrush and our toothpaste. Just go ahead and roll it right up in there. Put it inside of our bottle. But will it close? It's pretty close. See? It doesn't quite close. Let me grab our bottle cap. Ready for the big moment to see if this is actually gonna work. Three, two, and oh, that does not want to go on. Ah! I'm gonna have to say this one kind of works. The bottle cap doesn't really like to stay on. You know what? It's fine. I wonder if I can store all my friend's toothbrushes in here. We got the interns. We got Hair Jordans, Tori Debranskis, my Uncle Steve's. This one's Toby's. And this is the toothbrush that we don't talk about. Shove them all in there. There we go. I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. I'm actually gonna use grease from the brisket I made for Thanksgiving. So I'm just gonna get my pot and just start scooping it out. Look at that. Dude, this looks so gross. I'm gonna go ahead and let this heat up really quick and melt into pure liquid. Okay, that is very, very liquid. Put this off to the side for a second. Grab another pan, a little bit of cheesecloth. Unfold some of that, cut a chunk off, a strainer thing. Strain the grease. This is kind of scary, just thinking about how hot this is. I'm gonna see if the intern wants to eat this when we're done. Okay, now I'm gonna go and take all of our candle wax and put it into our cup. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is, well. dang, that is some very, very dark grease. The next thing I need is a wick. It's okay, I have more. So the way that I usually do this is I break it. Okay, I'm just gonna have to carve it out with a knife. This is so much work. Okay, this looks like an unused tampon. Let's shove this in our hot baking grease. It's melting the wax. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a skewer and just stick it right through the string. Boom, now it's gonna hold itself in place. Now I'm gonna add the cinnamon and the cloves. A boom bitty boom. Mix that up real good. Dude, this smells so weird. We're good. And now, I guess we just let this bad boy cool down. Nine hours later. Okay guys, so I let it cool down overnight. It doesn't look like it really even solidified. Here we go. It did light. It smells awful and it keeps going out. I'm not to say that this doesn't work. It's a no-go for me. Okay, so the first thing we need are some apples. So I guess I'll just go ahead and peel it. I need the meat of the apple, I guess. Mmm, tasty. Put all this into a pot, add a little bit of water, go ahead and grab our stove, bring it to a boil, let all the juices just absorb into the water. I'm hoping that works. Put them in a little bowl, looks good. Then we grab some sugar. Like I wanna know where the red coloring in that jelly came from. Oh my God, that already feels really thick. Just from all the sugar, I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit. Oh! I'll let you guys know how this turns out. Okay, this went horribly wrong. We messed up. We gotta open up the doors. 
I think the fire alarm's about to go off any minute. We were just trying to make some jam. Carefully pour it into a mason jar. It does kind of have a little bit of a red tint. Then we put on our lid. Be very careful. Boom. Now I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and cool off and see how it turns out. Okay, so now that we have our toast, we are ready to do a tasty jam review. So right here we have lingonberry jam, and right here we have our brand new homemade jam. Just gonna apply our lingonberry jam. I'm gonna go ahead and try this delicious lingonberry jam first. This is so good. Now it's time for a delicious homemade spread. It tastes like I just put sugar all over my toast. I would give this four out of 10. It's honestly not bad, but I think we could do definitely way better. And that's why we're gonna try this third jam that I found. Yummy. <laughs> We're missing the candle for the hat that you did earlier. What? Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is a lamp. Now, I couldn't figure out how to take this thing off. I'm gonna have to find an alternative way to do that. Okay, here we go. That sounded good. Got just what I need. I'm really hoping that this still works. Okay, I managed to fix this up a little bit. Let's see if it turns on. <gasps> it works! Let's go on to the next part of the craft, shall we? We're gonna go ahead and start busting out our action figures. Our first action figure is Mirabelle from Encanto. Come on, be free! Dude, that was rough. Okay, she looks a little low. I'm gonna go ahead and get her a friend. Spider-Man should do perfectly. Comment your favorite cartoon character down below. Now they're both just hanging out, but you know what would be even better? If we got them even more friends. Look at how he landed. What? He's like, uh, <laughs> the gang's all here. He's just, <gasps> he can do the splits. Oh my God. <gasps> Bro, look at, dude, I have to make him hold on. Like what? And he has like a little grip on his hand. <gasps> he actually clips on. <laughs> it looks like Batman also has a little fist. I'm just gonna stick this guy right here. Wonder Woman front and center. I'm gonna see if I can somehow get Superman just to walk on the pole. Here we go. Okay. <gasps> it's holding. Superman is, ah! This might not work out. What if I just glue him with one leg like this? He's just standing on Aquaman's head. I'm gonna do that. Do you feel properly disrespected, Aquaman? I'm sorry, sir. And there we go. Now we have ourselves a perfect little menagerie, perfectly encapsulated in this lamp of superheroes. I'm not spray painting this. I think I'm gonna keep it like this. And I'm gonna have to say that this absolutely works. <laughs> So the first thing we're gonna need is some avocados. Pull out our knife. I saw a trick once where you just kind of cut around the edge like this. Then you twist the avocado. So you just get your knife and then you twist it. Oh my God, that works so well. Life hack. Scoop all the excess out. Grab our pot. Grab our brand new white t-shirt. We just shove that into our pot. Throw in our avocado skins. Just kind of mash it all in there. Grab our stove. Add our water. Let this sit in here for a little bit. So far it's turning kind of green. It's not really turning pink at all. I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for about an hour. I'll see you guys then. Okay, it's been about half an hour. No purple yet, but we looked into it on the internet and apparently you have to let it sit for up to three hours. We'll keep you updated, I, I guess. <laughs> After about three and a half hours, it does look a little bit pinkish. A boobity boop. This is actually looking a little bit more brown than pink now. Throw it into the dryer. and our shirt is now dry. I don't know, would you guys call this pink? Let me know down in the comments down below. I'm gonna have to say that this kind of works. Gatorade bottle, go ahead and take off the cap. Go ahead and grab our standard blowtorch. Okay, now we grab our skewer and just poke it on through. It's working! Pull that on through. And now we have a little squirt bottle tip. We're gonna go back to our Gatorade bottle. And I'm gonna need some sauce to put in this bad boy. Oh, look at that! We're just gonna get all the sweet and sour and the barbecue sauce. Carefully transfer it into our Gatorade bottle. Get some barbecue sauce in there. I'm gonna go ahead and mix all this sauce together, put it on. But guys, something is missing from the sauce. I'm gonna make a label. 
Now with the old, him with the new. Guys, get over here and try my brand new epic sauce. Oh, uh, dude, your sauce isn't even ready. It is ready, look at that. Uh, About my cheers. brand new sauce. Cheers. How's the sauce? It tastes like barbecue sauce. You ripped this off. I made it all by myself. You just took sweet and sour sauce and barbecue sauce. What do you guys think? What would you rate it out of 10? Five out of 10. Four. Well, what do you guys think about the dispenser? Dispenser's better than the sauce. Yeah, the dispenser works. Absolutely works. <laughs> So here's my perfect little bundle of cables. It gets so tangled. Look at that! We have a perfect solution. We're just gonna get ourselves a straw and a pencil sharpener. And just put it right in there. Just evenly push the straw. I wonder if I could pull this through. <gasps> no, it does work! What the? Okay. Honestly, I would highly recommend trying this just because that was really fun. And now we're gonna wrap it around our wire. Wow, very aesthetically pleasing. Now let's try a little test, you ready? It's still pretty much all together. Absolutely works. Go five minute crafts, good job. So first thing we're gonna need, straws. Pink and green coaster. Oh yes, that should do it. I need scissors. So just go ahead and cut all these. So we grab our straw, some parchment paper, flip it over, and then we just iron it out. Now that is one very flat straw. I just have to keep adding straws, interchange the colors. And I'm just carefully squishing it down. This is how it looks. They're kind of like stuck together now. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them apart. You're free! Just weave it in between. I'll keep you guys updated. Okay guys, and this is how it turned out. Beautiful little placemat. Huh? Just kidding, it's a coaster. Trim off the edges a little bit. I'm gonna make it round. Okay, I got most of it very solid, but does it work as a coaster? Oh yeah, that definitely holds my cup. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Okay guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we recreate the thumbnail. We have a name brand water bottle. Then I'm gonna use this knife to make a little indent. Make a little slit. Well, I don't need this knife anymore. Then we bring in the real thumbnail knife. Let's recreate the thumbnail. We're gonna start off with our orange. Grab our knife. Just cut around the orange. It's like I'm doing brain surgery on a fruit. There we go. I'm gonna use the scooper to just clean it out a little bit. And I managed to keep the stem intact. Grab some extra virgin olive oil. Pour it into our orange. I think I poured a little too much. I'm gonna put it back in this orange. So now we have to try and light the wick on fire. There's no way that's gonna light. See? I think I'm gonna try and step it up a little bit. Is it lighting? It's burning the olive oil away. I don't think it's working. Dude, this oil is literally boiling. I'm gonna try boiling something in this orange peel. Okay, I'm gonna try and deep fry a hot dog in this oil. I'm just gonna stick that hot dog in. Oh my God. That kind of looks cooked, right? It kind of looks like one of my fingers. Okay, let's try this bad boy. It's not bad, like it, it definitely doesn't taste bad. My own invention kind of works. What would I rate this recipe? Probably a three out of 10. So I'm gonna have to say that I am the inventor of the orange fried hot dog. You've seen it here first. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Oh craft mystery, oh craft mystery, oh how the glue converts me. Oh craft mystery, oh craft mystery, it's craft this time with Robbie. My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And the last couple weeks, there's been this exclusive club that was started in the craft corner. I tried getting in, but they banned life hacks and crafts. Oh, hey, how's it going? Turn around, what? turn around. I got nothing on me, man. There's nothing on. What? That's nothing. I swear that's nothing. What's this? Nothing. What else you got? It's definitely not craft related. What? That's just my blowtorch, man. What's this? Get that out. It's a sewing kit. I'm sorry. Please let me in. I swear I'm not holding anything else. Bruh. 
That's just my average hot glue gun. Please let me in, man. No. I need my crafts. You don't need no crafts. I need my crafts. No crafts. I begged with him. I pleaded with him. Please let me into this club. I swear I won't bring any more crafts into the club. I got so desperate that I tried to break my way in. Hello there. So this is a surefire way to get past the bouncer. According to 123GO, that is. Fun ways to sneak anything, anywhere. Let's check out the first one. So what you're gonna do is just throw your friend on your shoulders and pretend like you're an extra, extra tall person. Oh wow, an extra tall person? I feel like I would've remembered you. And the bouncer will never suspect it. I mean, if 123GO says it'll work, it has to mean something. I can't wait to try this one. Look, I'm really sorry that I got you kicked out, but I have a plan to get us back in. All right. What is it? It's really simple. So the first thing I'm gonna need you to do is to put on this big jacket. Okay. I don't have a trench coat, so I think this is just gonna have to do. Okay, how's that? This is huge, it doesn't even fit me. Perfect! Okay, now I need you to hop on my shoulders. Stand on there, and then I'll go right underneath. Oh, what? Be real careful. It's Ready? wobbly. See, we're extra tall. Now I'm just gonna need you to wrap this around me so that you can't really see. Like this. Yes, this looks great. Oh, no one's gonna know you're here. They're just gonna think we're an extra tall person. Yeah, who wears a skirt? Hello, sir, can you please let us in? Let's try this one, guys. Hello, good sir. It is I. I would like to enter the club. I do not have any crafts, as you can see. I am just tall man. You can come in. You're gonna go. What? Why can't I go in? Come on, buddy. I can go? Come on. Come on. I can go? It's okay. Yeah! What the heck? Bye, Bobby. Thank you. It's because I'm short, isn't it? Oh, I gotta think of another plan. So for this one, you're gonna want some starburst. Then you're gonna want to squish the starburst and cut it into fourths. Then you take the fourths and line them up. Get a little skewer and just press it into all the little starbursts. Roll those bad boys up. Make a little sushi. Cut that bad boy in half. Spread the little petals. And then you stick it on a pencil. And boom, you got yourself a little flower. This isn't candy. It's a flower. And no one will ever suspect it. Okay, guys. So here are starbursts. Do I do all of them? I think I only need to do a few, actually. And I'm going to go with red. So I'm just going to pick out all these red ones. Perfect. One down. I think, like, five should do it. Five might even be too much. Now that we got our five starbursts, I'm actually gonna use some parchment paper and I'm just gonna put them in there and hammer it down. <gasps> oh no! I've broken it! Maybe the hammer is not the move. So apparently I just have to squish it. It didn't really say how to squish it. Do I just squish it with the hammer? Use the force, Luke. I wish I had a rolling pin. That would make a lot of this so much easier. Okay, I think this is probably gonna have to be good enough. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do that with two more of these bad boys. Guys, they kind of look like little pieces of ham. Anyway, we break out our X-Acto knives. The knife! And we go and cut them into fourths real carefully. And then we line them all up just like this. Grab our skewer and just flatten this bad boy out right in the center. Pull this guy out. Then we just start rolling it up real carefully. Just gonna make a little charcuterie board. This is gonna look great. Now we cut this little guy in half. Grab ourselves a pencil and just start opening this up a little bit and you shove it right up in the middle. We now have ourselves a perfect little rose. Look at that. How adorable is that? Don't try and eat it whole because you will eat this pencil lead. But guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one so far absolutely works. Now let's go try it out, shall we? Oh, hey there. My girlfriend's in the club, you see, and I got her these flowers for her. Can you please let me in? Pretty these please? Don't even look real. What do you mean? They're that's real can, flowers. That's, that's literally just, that's candy. That's not candy. If it was candy, would I do this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so gross. Shit, spit it out. It's definitely not candy. <gasps> that's candy. That's definitely candy. That's 100% candy. 
Well guys, that one's not working, so maybe I'll try something a little more realistic. So for this one, we're gonna need a little pot and some floral foam. Poke a little hole in the center, then I guess we put some makeup, then we're gonna take our hot glue gun and just glue a beauty blender onto the back of a leaf. Shove that plant right back in there, and boom, now you have makeup that can sneak absolutely anywhere, and no one will ever know. Okay guys, to start off with, I had this pre-potted plant. I couldn't find any floral foam, unfortunately, but it came with it inside of it with these flowers, and it says blessed on it, and I am actually truly blessed to not have to do any of the work. So I guess we're just gonna rip all these out. We don't need those flowers, and then we just shove this back in there. Okay, so now we need something to put inside of here to hold our makeup, so I got this paper plate. They didn't really tell us what you were supposed to use. I'm just gonna put this over it, use a Sharpie to maybe trace it to make it that big. Just gotta make it slightly smaller than that. Use our good old scissors. I might have made it a little too small, but does it fit? Oh! It fits. So we gotta poke a little hole for our flower stem. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and shove that right in there. Then we basically make a duplicate one. But we're gonna go ahead and grab our foundation and just start shaking it in there. Put our top back on. Now instead of using these little guys that came with it, we're gonna use these. Bigger is always better with the craft. That is so much better, I love it. We grab ourselves a beauty blender. I think it was supposed to be green, but you know, I'm sure it's fine. This will blend into the leaves just fine. Cut it into a thin slice. Lit. Oh, that is absolutely perfect. Okay, so now that we have this guy, we're gonna take this thing and just glue it onto the back of one of the leaves. Go ahead and grab our hot glue gun and just be real careful to just glue it right on there. I'm not gonna burn myself. I'm not gonna burn myself. I'm not gonna burn myself. Ah! I guess it is a Robbie video. So that is on there. And now it's nothing but an inconspicuous plant. I'm gonna bring this to the club. I'm gonna say that I'm bringing this for my girlfriend's birthday, but we all know that that's a complete lie. Okay, now it's time to see if this will actually work. Hey, Mr. Security Guard Man, I'm back with real flowers for my real girlfriend. Can I please go into this very real club? All right, I'll let you in now. Oh, thank you so much. You won't regret this. You won't. You won't regret this. <laughs> Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Check it out guys, I got makeup! I snuck makeup into the club! Did someone say makeup? We just put the makeup all over her face? What? No! No makeup allowed! So this girl has an idea. She's gonna pretend that she has a little toothache. She's gonna get some sugar glue, and then she's gonna start gluing all of her M&Ms to the fabric. Look at her. Oh, she has such a bad toothache. Or does she? <laughs> okay guys, so for this one, we're gonna need some jelly beans. And unfortunately, in the United States, we don't really have anything called sugar glue. I don't even know where the heck you'd buy that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in the face bandage, spread them all in there, maybe wrap it around once. These jelly beans are perfect encapsulated. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it underneath my face. Look at that. Oh, my wisdom tooth. Oh, it hurts so bad. Now let's see if this one works. Oh, oh. hey Mr. Bouncer Man, can I please be let in? I have a really bad toothache and I think that clubbing's the only way to make it feel better. Who comes to a club with a toothache? Me, All that's right. me. Whatever, whatever. Thank you so much. I know I say this a lot, but you won't regret this. <laughs> Your boy has done it again! Look at this, guys. I got some jelly beans. I hit them in my little toothache thing. Oh, yeah, you want some? You get jelly beans. You want some jelly beans? Here, I'll feed you in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, jelly beans. Yeah, some good jelly beans. Woo! Yeah! Oh, there he's joking! Oh, my God! Does anyone know the Heimlich Maneuver? Oh, my God! What have you done? Oh, 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 oh. Dentist, and you're trying to sneak your candy and soda pop in, but you're just not allowed. So you're like, oh no, what am I supposed to do? You get a little idea from the fish bowl. You're gonna pretend that this little gummy shark is your pet fish. Then you're gonna put it in a bunch of Sprite in a bag. And now, you're free to have soda while you're at the dentist. Oh, that's a dream. But will it help me get candy past the bouncer? Okay guys, first thing we're gonna need is a Ziploc bag. Then we grab ourselves a Sprite. I think they might've just used water in the video, but I'm gonna use Sprite just to be extra 
safe. Make it extra sweet, you know? That's some very, very fizzy water. Then we're gonna grab ourselves some Swedish fish. I couldn't find any baby sharks, so I guess Swedish fish will have to do. Those baby sharks are loving. Oh, look at that. They're all swimming in their little salt water tank. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's go test this one out. Hey. It's me again. This is my emotional support goldfish. Can I please bring him in with me? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Looks like we're having candy sushi tonight. What? <laughs> Just grab a big old grip of them. Here you go, you want that? Yeah. Yeah. This is the best sushi I've ever had. Mmm. Be your friends, not food. What? Uh, we aren't eating fish. Oh, what are you all doing? No. No, 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 no. Get out of here. No, 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 no. Okay, guys, you know what time it is? It's time for everyone's favorite part of the video where we record the thumbnail! Woo! So for this one, we're gonna need a poppet. And a pair of scissors. So I'm gonna attempt to cut out the tongue shape. Is this way too big to be my tongue? Uh, I think it is. I think it looks way too big. How about that? I think that's a lot better. Oh my gosh. I haven't really done this yet in this craft corner. Okay, here you go. Craft mystery, oh craft mystery, oh how the glue gun burns me. Oh craft mystery, oh craft mystery, it's craft this time with Robbie. some homemade DIY Christmas decor by 5 Minute Crafts and TikTok. Let's see what the first one is. So the first thing we're gonna need is a pool noodle. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab some red duct tape and then we just start wrapping it up on here. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now I have to somehow twist it into a spiral shape and hot glue it into place. Here we go. Be real careful. Hot glue is very hot, as we've learned in previous videos. Oh, that's just some hot glue. Oh, yes. You see that? That's how you get it in there. Okay, now we carefully do the next one. Oh my gosh, this is way harder than I thought it would be. This is coming from the Craft King, everybody. I think the tape might have made it even harder to twist. And it's actually melting the pool noodle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the heat on a lower temperature so we don't get this crazy melt. It's in the back of it, uh, so I don't think it matters that much. Oh God, this does not want to stay. Ah, oh, it's so hot! This thing just doesn't want to stay together. We got some burns. That's not good. Okay. Ah! Oh, it's still hot. I'm just gonna go ahead and twist this all together using my ah my strength. I'm just gonna strengthfully twist this together into a spiral. Five minute crafts made it look so easy. Come on. That's still very hot. <laughs> then I'm gonna grab my drill with my extremely long drill bit and just shove it right in there. Now we're gonna grab some rebar and just shove it right up in there. We did it! It was a little bit of an adventure. It was a little bit scary at times, but we freaking did it. I just used rebar because it was the only thing I had laying around that was, you know, stick-shaped. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap some tape over it just to make it look like a white stick. Wow! That actually turned out really nice. And our lollipop is complete! We're supposed to technically put, like, a wrapping over it, but you know what? I kind of like this without the wrapping on it. Like, it looks so nice. Just ignore this side. It's kind of a burnt mess. Just ignore it. But this side looks fantastic. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this 5-Minute Crafts decor hack absolutely works. Who wants to get smacked around with my giant lollipop? Me, I do! I do! Uh, right here! Uh, hold on! Oh! <laughs> For this one, we're gonna need some foam. I couldn't find any pieces that were big enough, so I'm gonna have to hot glue these two together. Okay, hopefully this doesn't melt the foam too bad. But I'm just gonna be real careful. Just do a layer of hot glue on this side. 
Now we're gonna carefully just squish these two together. I'm gonna go ahead and break out this giant clamp that I got from Harbor Freight. I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for a little bit while it dries. 10 seconds later. Now how are we holding up? Oh, that's pretty good. That's actually very sturdy. So now I'm gonna try and attempt to draw a gingerbread man. So it looks like we start off with a round head. I almost wanna get like a bucket or something. Oh, a bucket or something. We're gonna start off with our very round head. This head is just so round. It kinda goes off onto his shoulders. The whole drawing goes off onto his shoulders. And then he has a little arm, kinda comes out. And he's like, yay, I'm a gingerbread man. Oh God, I feel like I'm making very skinny now. Oh, that does not look good. He looks very just okay, so I don't know how to fix okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start over. Oh, at least the head turned out good. We're gonna start over, that's what the backside's for. Guys, I got this wacky idea where we use a projector on a C stand to project the gingerbread man. That way I get a perfect little gingerbread man. It's a perfect idea! I'm gonna try it. I saw this on Pinterest and you guys are absolutely gonna love it. Actually, I didn't see it on Pinterest. I made this up on the spot. <sighs> Let's see if this works. Oh, I see the gingerbread man. You can see it? Can you change the orientation for me? Yes, sir. <gasps> Look at that gingerbread man! So we managed to get the projector to project a perfect little gingerbread man. I have to put it slightly askew on here because uh, I wanted him to be nice and big. And this one is waving and he's just hanging out and he's being a great guy. So we're gonna go ahead and outline him. Oh yes, easy peasy. Okay, and theoretically we should have a gingerbread man outline and we do, it works. Now we just have to cut it out. It's time to cut our gingerbread man. You're a monster. I brought three knives just to see which one would be the easiest to use. So far, no go. Let's try you. Ugh. Still kind of hard to cut with this. What about the flat one? The flat one might be the move. Look at that. That just slices through it like butter. And also it's a way cleaner cut. I think we discovered a new method called the fire method where we're just gonna get the knife super hot and just cut through it like butter. Look, look, look at, oh, what? Dude, I didn't realize this was a hot knife challenge. Okay, I'm switching to the, the hot knife method. We're gonna be cooking with fire now. Oh, that's so much easier. Wow. At least I'm not fighting with it. Let me get such clean lines. Now we spray paint this bad boy. Five minutes later. Oh my gosh, that's like solid. Okay, now that that's dry, we're gonna go ahead and flip it over, do the other side. Okay, now that he's nice and spray painted, we have to bring him to life. Breathe, dang you, breathe! You're not dying on me yet. Okay guys, here we go. Uh, uh. How's that? Are you alive now? Oh, thank you so much for bringing me to life! You're not finished yet, you're not complete. For now, you sleep. Thank you. Shh. And now, we're gonna add some gumdrop buttons. I'm gonna do this by cutting these bad boys in half. These are just tennis balls that I got at the dollar store. <laughs> that would've probably been a better idea. Turns out cutting a ball in half is way harder than I thought. Oh God, I almost stabbed myself. Okay, now we just add his little gumdrop buttons. That looks so nice. Look at him go. Which one's it in? Which one's it in? We're gonna go ahead and hot glue these bad boys right on. Guys, should I change my, my saying to peace, love, and hot glue? Let me know down in the comments down below. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the outline. I'm gonna use some rope. I didn't have fancy rope. I only had white rope. It's okay. It looks like white frosting, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and glue this bad boy right on there. And now... Just gotta hot glue the two ends together. Boom! We now have ourselves a gingerbread man. Well, we have to flip his eyes over, actually. Okay, we now have ourselves a gingerbread man! Ready? What the heck did you do? What do you mean, Toby? Are these tennis balls? They are, Toby. Oh, oh, oh that was my cousin! Oh. Well, at least we have our brand new gingerbread friend. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this absolutely works. Dude, this is awesome, look it. I have a giant gingerbread man friend now. <laughs> We're the best of friends. Now we can sing and we can dance. La 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 la. Come on little gingerbread friend, let's go. <laughs> I love going on adventures with you. Well guys, 
it looks like I'm gonna be turned into a human Christmas tree. But for this one, I'm gonna need some help. Oh, intern! Pin camera guy! Yeah, Robbie, we're here! Okay guys, I got a very important mission for you. I'm gonna need you to wrap this garland all around me. Sounds like fun. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to my belt loop, and then you tie this one to my other belt loop. How come he gets to tie it to your belt loop? Yeah. Do you even know how to tie knots? You. <laughs> It'll come with experience. Okay guys, I'm just gonna yeah. spin, and you guys just go crazy. In three, two, one, let's go. Yeah, let's go. How's it looking? Well, oh, wait, wait, maybe give you like a like a unit. Oh, yeah. oh, high fashion. Guys, I think we need more garland. We need more? I'm a little dizzy right now. So we got this electric lazy Susan that I'm just gonna stand on, and you guys are gonna spin. And I'm just gonna stand on it. It's gonna spin me automatically. I don't even have to spin anymore. Luckily, guys, we have a lot more garland. Just wrap all this around me. I'm gonna become a giant tree. Okay, and I'm slowly spinning. I feel like we could go faster. Is there a way to go even faster? So it looks like the rotating thing isn't working. So you guys just have to run all the way around me. Sorry. Okay, I'm definitely looking very treeified. Are you guys ready to decorate me? Woo! Let's do it! Let's do the decoration! Stop, stop, stop! Part, dude. Like, Robbie, come on, man. You're tearing me apart! Did it? Well, guys. They did it. I'm now a human Christmas tree, and I guess we're gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Merry Christmas. <laughs> How am I gonna get out of this? You're we don't living in it. You're staying in it forever. This just, is your home. Am I staying in this the yep. rest of the video? You got a shower in it. All right, Trevor and I are going on lunch. Later. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut myself out. Okay, guys. So the first thing we're gonna need is a ball. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Some tin foil, some string, and of course you can't forget your hot glue gun. Oh yeah, nice and hot. So the first thing we're gonna start off doing is making our tin foil ball. Just wanna crumble them up real good. This isn't the tin. Oh, my hand in the hot. Whoa! Be real careful. Hot glue is very hot. So anyway, as I was saying, guys, this isn't the tin foil ball challenge. We're not trying to make a tight tin foil ball. We're just trying to make a um, regular tin foil ball. Just minimum effort, nothing too crazy. There we go, two down. Now a bunch more to go. Okay, so now that we have all of our tin foil balls, we're gonna go ahead and start wrapping some of them in some yarn. Some fancy yarn, make it look real fancy. We got some blues, we got some pinks, we got some greens. We got your rainbow, okay? Hear me out. Wait, we want this to be like Christmas themed, don't we? Here's a good green. Okay, time to start wrapping some balls. And now it's time to start hot gluing them to our foam ball. Let's hope this doesn't completely melt the foam ball. Oh, there we go. Okay, just stick it right on there. Beautiful. Does it stay? It like instantly stays. So now I just gotta cover this whole thing in them. Oh, okay guys, and here it is. Our giant um, <laughs> ball of tin foil. It's pretty majestic, I'm not gonna lie. Now I just have to hang it up somewhere. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a hook. Screw that right in there. Perfect. Okay, then we attach our rope. Okay, we're pulling this bad boy up. It's going up to the sky. Whoa, it's like a star. Trap Craft Corner. Okay, now that the lights are off, let's put the party lights on. Yeah! Whoa, it's a party! Look at us! Woo! Well, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. And now we have a disco ball in the craft corner. Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna need is a pot. Then we're gonna need a spinning platform. It doesn't actually need to spin, but this is the only golden platform we had, and this is the one I'm gonna use. Then we need some ornaments and something to hold this bad boy up. So I went in the desert and I found this piece of rebar. So now we just have to cut it down a little bit. Still gonna wear my hat, cool. Okay, let's do this. So now we're gonna drill a hole for our rebar to go into. And I'm gonna do it at an angle. 
Now it should just go, oh! That is very side heavy. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna get any better. Maybe rebar isn't the move. Okay, so I found these things up in my attic. I have no idea what they, oh. I'm gonna try and break this bad boy. Oh, that's perfect. You just need something solid, you know? You can use whatever you got at home. Take apart your TV, I'm sure you'll find something. Don't take apart your TV, please. Okay, yeah, I like that. Now I'm just gonna hot glue it in place. My favorite kind of engineering is over-engineering because then you never have to do it again. Making sure this bad boy still spins. Oh yes, it still spins. Now, we break out our balls. We're gonna start gluing them on, I guess. Okay guys, and it's all done. Look at that. I think adding it to a rotating platform made it way cooler. Look how solid that is. What? Woo! <laughs> Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Okay guys, so I don't have any PVC pipe on hand, but I do have this hanging canopy thing. Oh my gosh, oh god, oh god. How close was I to the camera? I got it at the thrift store. I did find them on Amazon though for about 80 bucks if you guys wanna do this at home. I just figured a hanging Christmas tree sounded way cooler. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm very dizzy now, oh my god, oh god, I'm gonna. Oh, oh God, I'm gonna puke. Oh, I'm gonna puke, oh, I'm gonna puke, I'm gonna puke. If this gets 10,000 likes, I'll spin in this bad boy for a year. Oh, please don't do that. So I might have went a little bit overboard with buying the garland. Originally, I did think I was gonna be making this giant Christmas tree. You know, I might use all this garland on this, maybe. So I'm gonna try hot gluing it first, and if that doesn't work, I'm gonna have to sew it, which I really don't wanna do. You know what they say? Hot glue is very hot. It's not a Robbie video, unless I burn myself with the hot glue gun. I love third degree burns, I mean. That's my favorite part of every Robbie video. But it does appear that our garland is in fact holding. Now I have to do this basically all the way down. Okay guys, so this is taking way too long. So I actually recruited the hidden camera guy. We actually have two hot glue guns and we use so much hot glue that it actually becomes cold and it won't spit any more hot glue out. So we're gonna switch between us with the hot glue guns and we'll just take turns. But this is gonna be so much faster. I also decided to safety pin the door shut. That way we can just glue it right on top of it and then afterwards we're gonna cut the door out. Then we'll have a door. Dude, I don't even know if it'll fold down anymore. Okay, I put it on a table. Oh, what? Oh my God, it's actually folding down. So now we're gonna go ahead and start working on the other side. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a Lazy Susan, a big old piece of round wood, fit right on top. That's fine. Everything's fine with this. Oh God. I'll take it. So, and there we go. What does it spin? It doesn't really spin. <laughs> you know, it was good in theory. Um, I tried, I genuinely tried. Okay, we're gonna try the old two by four trick. But does it spin? Oh, we're spinning. <laughs> we went ahead and blew it up a little bit to help it hold its shape. It has like a little blow up cushion inside of it with a little zipper. Okay, that took a while. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hang it up and see if this actually worked. Okay, going up. Oh boy! A hanging Christmas tree! Oh wait, where's the door? We forgot to cut out the door. Okay, now we're cutting out the door holes. Where is it? Uh, I might have messed up, guys. I don't know where the door went. I actually don't know where the door went. What the? I'm gonna figure this out and we'll be right back. I need wire cutters. I'm gonna have to wire cut out the safety pins. Oh, that's not even the edge. How many safety pins did we put in? There's like a breathing hole. Oh, we could get a GoPro and shove it in there and see what it looks like. <laughs> okay guys, we're going in. I'm really curious to know what it looks like. Does light penetrate this wonderful forest? I'm gonna spin you around. 
and your home. Okay guys, I decided to just call it a day and I am gonna skip the whole safety pin thing um, and try and unsafety pin it and just cut it. I'm just gonna cut myself a new slit, a new door, a new opportunity. Okay guys, I'm going in. Oh God, can I even see if this, this, does, if this will even hold me? How is that? Okay. Looks good. Okay, I'm gonna try and get inside of it. Oh, this is so difficult. Oh, I've been consumed! I have eaten Robbie! Here, hand me the camera. Okay guys, so this is how it looks. Wow, this is actually really cool. It's a little cramped because it's kind of small, but overall, this is awesome. I guess I could line it too. I could totally camp in here. I'm already getting kind of warm. Like I could like go camping in the snow. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to do that. I think that would be a lot of fun. I'll make a giant one. I forgot the best part of this is it also came with fairy lights. You ready? Oh, look, they still work. Got this for $40. Really good modification. <laughs> So now it's time to add the lights. I ended up going with lights with little battery packs. That way I didn't have to plug in my hanging canopy because then, you know, it spins and then the extension cord will get all tangled up in it. That sounds like a mess. So that's why we went with the battery powered ones. And luckily inside of this cabana, there's actually a little pouch we can put these bad boys in. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little slit and that way I can just insert them into the pouch. Now that I got them all plugged in, it's gotta keep decorating this bad boy. There's gonna be so many lights on this tree. Oh wow, look at that! Dude, that's actually so cool in the dark. Dude, this honestly looks so cool. Next, we're gonna add some Christmas ornaments. The way I used to do it as a kid is I would just get the ornament and I'd just throw it and hopefully it would catch onto the tree. Did you guys do this? Let me know down in the comments down below. It usually helps if there's branches. I used to be so good at this. Oh! Okay, I guess I'll just put it on the normal way then. And there we go guys, our hanging Christmas tree is done! Dude, this turned out so cool. Really happy with this. And you can even go inside of it still. See guys, I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Okay. Mommy! Let me know what you guys think about this guy down in the comments down below. I think it turned out so cool. Honestly, this was a 10 out of 10 craft, and it was original. Go me. Good job, me. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up. Looks like this fight right down there. Down in the comments down below, tell me what your favorite craft was. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're ready? Okay, bye. Merry Craft Oh craft mystery, oh craft mystery, oh how the glue gun burns me. Oh craft mystery, oh craft mystery, it's craft this time with Robbie. I'm gonna need some parenting hacks. So I got this giant poppet here, and they didn't actually explain how to make the poppet sandals, so I'm just gonna have to take a guess. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my shoes, and using a Sharpie, I'm gonna make an outline. Oh yes, that ought to do. Or should I say, that ought to shoe. <laughs> Get out of here! Then we grab a strong pair of scissors, and then just start cutting away. 
Now we just have to make the strap. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of our leftover and try and make it as even as possible. Looking pretty good. Then we break out our super glue and I'm just gonna take an educated guess that they just kind of glued it right on there. They did it kind of messy in the video from what I saw, but you know, I'm sure they tried their dang best. She's working. No, it's not working, just kidding. Maybe if I do it like this, just combine these two edges, get some clamps and just clamp them together. There we go. Oh, she is quite clamped on there. Perfect. Hopefully that works. Okay, I think I'm only gonna be able to do one side at a time. My other clamps are too big, you see? I'm gonna go ahead and start on the other one. Guys, these are gonna be the most comfy sandals ever. One hour later. Okay, guys, I let it sit for like half an hour. Let's see if it actually worked. And how <gasps> it worked! It looks like it's a little bit long, so I think we're gonna have to cut it. Hopefully this is long enough. And then somehow, some way, I have to cut this to fit right on there. Oh yes, flatten that edge out a little bit. Hopefully that'll hold. Now the other one, did this one hold? Ah, it worked! There we go. Oh yes, that ought to do it. Okay, the super glue should be dry on this side now. It got a little stuck. Don't need these anymore. Wow, we have ourselves some sandals. That is so cool. But do they actually work as sandals? Let's try them on. I wonder if these are gonna be comfortable. Oh, guys, they actually fit. They're a little bit loose, but look how cool they look. Dude, these are absolutely awesome. So I guess I'm gonna have to say that they absolutely work. Now let's go try them out on the boys. Oh, hey boys, how you doing? Hey, hey. Oh my God, this place looks really good. Did you guys clean this whole thing? Yeah. You guys did a really good job. Thank well, you. Of course, we were always planning cleaning up the whole time. I mean, it's our job. Oh man, this is really unfortunate because I still have to punish you guys what? for making a mess in the first place. What do you mean? Robbie, stop, stop hitting me, stop. Those are poppet sandals. I beat you with my poppet sandals. They both kind of broke, unfortunately. I'm gonna go talk to HR about you hitting me. HR! Well, guys, for that use, I'm gonna have to say that it doesn't work. They both broke. Buddy. It's it's good. I'm just doing my work. What do you want? Oh, you can pause that because I have a really fun activity for you. Come on. So what we're gonna need is a piece of paper and some lemon juice. So that's why that was sitting here. <laughs> yeah. And these paint brushes. Okay. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of our lemon juice, squirt it into our bowl. It's a lot of lemon juice. Yeah. And then we're gonna paint ourselves a picture. Oh yeah. I'm gonna paint myself a Christmas tree. You can't see anything. There's no point. It's no, it's fine. You just paint your Christmas tree with your lemon juice. Bro, it looks like you're just wetting paper. Hey, stop. I'm gonna draw a Smokey the Bear. Does it taste good? Oh, does it taste good? It's very sour. Okay, intern, now according to Five Minute Crafts, if you take a blowtorch. Oh my God. No. <laughs> and you just put it to the paper, you're gonna see the drawing. Is it working? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. oh I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, kind of works. It works for a second, you gotta be real careful. Well, carpet's a little burnt. How you doing, intern, are you okay? You almost committed arson. <laughs> this isn't a craft, this is a hazard. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're gonna be trying this parenting hack on my dog son, Benjamin. Look at him, he's in a little Pikachu outfit. Look how stinking cute this little guy is. Benj, look how cute. Let's see if he cooperates. He's not a big fan of, you know, taking photos. Okay, hey Benj, we need you to just sit here. It's okay, it's okay. We just need you to sit here on this bench. Okay, sit, sit, sit. Good boy, sit. We got the hidden camera guy. He's gonna be the photographer today. You look so cute, Benj, it's okay. What a cute guy. Stay here for the photo, okay? Stay, stay for the photo. 
Oh, Ben! Guys, he's just so shy, he won't take the photos without me. So I guess we're gonna have to try a little parenting hack. Okay, guys, here's the background. We're gonna try this one more time. Hand me the dog, son. Yes, he's my good dog, son. Yes, he's so cute, Ben. You're so ready for these photos. It's okay, stay on my lap. Now let me put on this background, stay, bench. He's staying! Guys, he's actually staying! We got him to stay for a really long time. So, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Oh, hey, intern! How you doing? Oh, no! Oh, shoot! Intern! Oh, you got so many screws over... Oh! Oh! No! Oh! 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 I think I got a screw in my foot! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, Bobby! Oh my god, bro! I'm so sorry! You scared me! Oh my god! Guess what, intern? What? This whole thing was a prank! What do you mean? Like, you scaring me was a prank? Yeah, this is makeup. This is this is fake, see? That was all fake the whole time. This doesn't make any sense Moral to me. of the story, intern, what? never go into the crap corner without shoes. I wanted to teach you a lesson. When did you have time to do that makeup? It doesn't matter. Come on, let's pick up these screws. I know a fun hack for it. <laughs> First thing you gotta do is grab that vacuum hose. Okay, it looks good. We don't wanna vacuum up all my perfectly good screws though, intern. So we're gonna use a sock. I'm just gonna take the one that's remaining on my foot. Oh yes, there we go. Give me that vacuum hose, intern. Then we put the sock right over the vacuum hose. Hit that switch for me. Oh, it's just vacuuming up all the screws. Look at that, intern. Here, put your hands out. Actually, I don't think it caught any. Wow, you just wasted my time. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. I'm sorry for wasting your time, intern. Well, I gotta pick up these screws. Yeah, go pick up these screws. Thank you so much. Moral of the story, don't walk around the craft corner without shoes, my guy. Wait, guys, when I went to go take my sock out, it's stuck because it got the screws stuck inside of it. <gasps> what a plot twist! It actually works! Good job, five minute crafts. Okay guys, let's set up this fun new game for the intern. We're just gonna grab some tape and just start taping away. Okay, now that I'm all done, all we need is the intern. Oh, intern! Oh, there you are. Yeah? Well, what's up? I put together this fun obstacle course for you. How am I supposed to get snacks now? You gotta go through the obstacle course. Dude, but this is ridiculous! Are you... I believe in you, intern. You can do it. This has to be the most unprofessional work environment ever. Okay, intern! It's your time to shine! Aw, uh, you can do it! I'm not joking. Go! 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 I'm getting dirty! Go! 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 You can do this it! This is ridiculous! You can do it! Is this tape stuck on me? Go, Robbie. Inter! Go, Inter! I just you can bought do it. this jacket! Get the snacks for us! You made it! He did it! it. He made it! Yeah, I made it, but. Woo! Dirt now, look at that! Good job! Well, I think he had a lot of fun. What, what do you say, intern? <laughs> There's your snack! Yeah, can you give me a different one? Do you want another one? Yeah. There! There! Cheetos! Cheetos! That's what I think of this! Would you say it works? Yeah, yeah, it works. It works. Well, guys, guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Okay guys, so here is our pump, here's our Nutella. This is gonna be a really good life hack, one that I guarantee that everyone is gonna absolutely love. Go ahead and get a big old scoop of our Nutella and just put it right into our pump. Yes, just fill that pump with Nutella. Doesn't that look absolutely delicious? Fun fact guys, Nutella is actually 45% sugar. The serving size is 37 grams and the total sugar is 21 grams. Dang, so over half of this is sugar per serving. Wow, okay, that's worse than I thought. Anyway, it's absolutely delicious, and that's why everyone loves it. I can't wait to try out this brand new life hack. Wow, look at that beauty. Now I'm gonna put the top back on. Okay, now it's time for a sweet treat. Is this gonna work? I'm gonna start pumping. 
It doesn't seem to be pumping through. I'll keep trying for it. It really doesn't want to work. My arm's getting tired, guys. I've been pumping for like five minutes. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. But what am I gonna do with all of this Nutella? <gasps> I have an idea. Intern, intern. Huh, what's up? What are you doing? I need a new bike, so I'm trying to fix this one. I have a plan to make money. Are you in? Yeah, I need a new bike. See, we're selling chocolate. All right. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. A few moments later. Yes! Hello, young lady. We're selling chocolate. Is your mother home? Ma! What's all that yelling? You just can't wait for me to die, can you? They're selling chocolates. Chocolates? Yeah, chocolates. What are they selling? Chocolates. They're selling chocolates. What? Chocolates. I can't hear you. They're selling chocolates. They're selling chocolates. Yes. I remember when they first invented chocolate. Sweet, sweet chocolate. I always hated it. Oh, this chocolate's not for eating, it's for, uh... You rub it on your skin, and it makes you live forever! Uh... Live forever, you say? I'll take one. Uh... Come on, you lazy Mary! Start rubbing me with that chocolate! I hate you. If we keep over-exaggerating the truth, we're gonna be fancy living in no time! Hooray for lying! Robbie? Robbie? Hey, you drop this. Oh, thanks, dude. Come on, man, join in. Come on, it's really fun. Woo! I got so much toilet paper! Whoa. What the heck are you guys doing? Just having fun. What the? Where'd you get all this toilet paper? What are you guys doing? <laughs>